platform, your IBS diarrhea, your depression, anxiety, dad, dad, and your the autism. Yeah, you're just autism. <laughs> right. back to the Just Trish podcast. Today is just a rare sighting in the Just Trish studios. We have two straight guys and you guys, <laughs> they're everything. They're, <laughs> they kiss. Yeah, they kiss. <laughs> yeah, it's a straight kiss. They're Trish approved. Oh, yeah. They're they're fun. They're masked. They're fun. They're your best friends. Everyone wants them to be their boyfriends. Valentine's Day is coming. Here That's they are. <laughs> Jake is... Weber and Johnny Gilbert. Wow, you said my last name right. That's awesome. Wait, how do people say it? Yay. Do oh, you just, just the clapping? We have one audience, name. Moses and Tara Yummy. <laughs> and I was like, if we had another microphone, we could have all of us. It's like a whole thing. Because you guys should all do a podcast. Because I see you guys on dropouts at different mm. times, but never all together. So this is very exciting. We've, we've talked about that before yeah. during a podcast. Yeah. yeah, the three of you yeah. or two of you? Uh, I think all three of us would be really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's a Because yes, you guys all get... I know I'm going to sound like such a like a millennial. You guys get so many views and I'm still like shook by like, all of you. I was looking at all of your views. I was like, how are you guys all getting like millions of views? Like 10 million on TikTok, 2 million on like YouTube. Like how? We just we, pay for it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know? No, you don't. No, no. I, I honestly don't know. Do you just, market we, yourselves? Well, no. People think there's a lot of people that think that we have like some secret trick or we like script it out. We literally just film. That's wild to me. And they are, it's very just unedited, like a little edited, but very unedited. Mm, yeah. Like eating, which I'm yeah. like, what? How are you? Like today you did one like Valentine's day mm. and it was just like literally eating snacks and I had like half a million in like 24 hours, like not even 20, 12 hours. Yeah. I don't, well, I don't get it either. Really? I mean, I've, we've both been doing YouTube for so long at this point too. Like we've had moments that are like higher, but this is just like a different level and it's very strange. And but. you don't know why? Well, I mean, the boom. I just I feel like it's just our chemistry. Yeah. And the ideas that we do, it's it's not they're not too complicated. Right. You know, because I feel like people don't like to watch overly complicated things. They just want simplicity. Yeah. yeah. And I also think like, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Never mind. Is it the looks? <laughs> is it the looks? Do you think it's like you guys look like this boy, like kind of like a boy band, like are the emo bands and like, oh, this is what we needed. Uh, that probably helps, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's just it's just everything. <laughs> it's all in one. It's everything together. Um, yeah, we're yeah. kind of like in the same world looks wise, but we're also like different variations. Yeah, so like diff- kind of different. Cool. It just kind of yeah. different eras. We talked about this in the video because you're very like early two thousands, My Chemical Romance. But then you're very you like you said you like punk, but you give me like early Tommy Lee vibes, like eighties. Mm. Oh 80s. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've gotten that before, and I'll yeah. totally take it. Which one do you prefer? Either or, you know, I do, you know, the bell bottoms, like it's kind of like hair metal you yeah. know? Yeah. So it's kind of like a mixture of a couple eras, I'd say. Do you guys get looks when you guys go out in public? Uh, in what way? Like negative ones? <laughs> uh, no, that's what I want to know. Because back in my day, it would be like negative. Like people who dress like this back in like early 2000s, they'd be like, mm. oh my God, look at those punk boys. But I feel like now is it in where people are like, oh I, damn, you look good. I used to when I was like younger, because I used to dress like this all the time and stuff. But I used to get like really like made fun of in like high school for it and everything, but now, like, if, like, people look at us, usually it's, like, oh, they, like, watch the videos and they're, like, wanting to say hi. Or they think we're in a band and it's, like, cool. Oh, yeah, that's the, oh, my God. We yeah. get that so much. People like, don't are know you, you. So are you in a yeah. band or what? No yeah. way. Really? Yeah. <laughs> From, like, guys? Like, yeah, okay, yeah, dudes? Yeah. So the dudes? The dudes ask us if we're in a band and I, like, I think moms like us. Well, yeah. I mean, oh. yeah, you too. And okay. grandmas. Yeah. I oh, think for I, sure. I, I have this idea that we, like, might remind them. Uh, I have this idea that we might remind them of their boyfriend in high school or something. Or the one they wanted to date. Yeah. I feel like I'm a mom and I feel like, yeah, in high school, I wish an emo boy would pay attention to me. Like that was like (laughs) my dream or like someone cool looking with tattoos. No one cared about me like this in high school, but I was like obsessed with the boys that looked like you guys. So I think that's what it is. Damn, I always thought like this was like a bad look. So I guess I got to keep rocking. That's it. crazy. So in high school, what year are you in high school? Oh, uh, I only did one year. I dropped out. I don't know. So. I don't Wait, know. Really? You don't know what year you were in high school? Do you not see your age? You're young. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm, I'm 25. <laughs> oh. I just, I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> you don't know when you graduated? You uh, dropped uh, out. Yeah. I, 2016, 2016. Did you guys go to high school together? No. I, just, I lived in Kansas. Oh, oh, yeah. that's right. You're Midwest. You're San Jose, mm-hmm. which is crazy. So you weren't dressing like this in Kansas. Uh, I was a little bit, but you know, I, 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 you get really judged there. I mean, if yeah. you're if you're just like a little different, they look at you and they're just like, 
Why? <laughs> Why? That's a good impression. You know, <laughs> I'm from somebody. Illinois, so I yeah. get the vibe. Yeah. yeah. So you were, how were you? What were you like in high school? Were you guys in? You said you got picked. You dropped out after a year. Yeah, I just I had a hard time with school in general. Like I would fight with my mom about like even going into the classrooms and stuff because my anxiety and everything. And um, and then like teachers would try to drag me out into the classroom and everything. And like it was just like I oh just had a lot of struggles with it, trying different schools and everything. And um, I'm also like dyslexic, so that was like mm. a big problem with learning and all that stuff. You're so. like, this is not for me. Yeah, and it's then, not for everyone. Yeah, and then I got like the dead dad trauma. So like during that oh. during that time, the dead dad stuff happened, and it's like you know being like 14 or 13 or whatever. Oh, no. that, yeah. you were 14 when your dad passed away. I think I was 13 actually. Yeah. Oh or, my. I don't it? know. I always forget. It's kind of a blur. Really? Do you like block it out? No, I just don't remember like years very well. Like right. I don't even remember when I was in high school, but yeah. I don't know how trauma. anyone. Yeah, no, that's trauma. Like losing a parent at that age, like that's that would be. I don't know. I know, but it give me character. Look at me now. <laughs> and you use it. You like no. use it. And oh, you're yeah. Right. yeah. Now I wear eyeshadow, so it's all okay. okay. Your makeup is so cool. Yeah, like Thanks. when I see old, like older videos of you, like you're you now. You mm. didn't wear makeup. You were just a oh my little god, clean cut really kid. Deep dive. Oh yeah, I'm gonna post it. We'll put it in B roll. We'll post a picture of you oh, without makeup. <laughs> yeah, I started when I was like 13 or so. Yeah, yeah it's weird to think that he's a natural blonde. <laughs> yeah, he looks like. It makes like me a, uncomfortable. Justin Bieber type over there. I was oh, like, oh look at this little. God. wholesome kid and you just went the other way you know it's okay went. when i deep dive you it's different when you do it to me <laughs> and it's crazy you know deep dive you're like you're watching high school musical i thought you meant you were i was like you know you were i was no, like yeah no, i no, was no. but you guys are high school music friends were you athlete jock were you popular no i i can't play any sports i can't like really do any physical was the one activity bullying. that well <laughs> <laughs> wait were you did you did you like bully kids no oh. no 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 <laughs> that made I, me you were i did social media in high school and, and they're like you know it's all football and farming so mm. you Either they, I feel like they really looked down upon me. Um, I was I was so ready to get out. I hated it there. Really? And you finished, though? Because you, you went to college, right? Yeah, I went to college for just one year. And then you were, like, over it. Because you're one of six. Uh, one right? of, um, Do you have six one siblings? One of four. One of four. Oh, okay. I thought you had six siblings. Your sister does YouTube, though. Yeah. Okay, so it's like a family thing. So you guys were all like, let's do this together? Or did you start <laughs> first? <laughs> I, was, uh, I, was, I, was the, uh, I was the guinea pig. I, I want to do social media. And what did you start as? Because you weren't this. When I even knew you in 2019, you were like blo- you were like Justin Bieber, too. You were like blonding and like wholesome. I know. I like I see like I, I, I've never I didn't even know the genre of punk growing up. And I found it like in 2019. And I, I'd like hyper fixated on it so hard. It's like the only music I listen to. And I'm just like obsessed with the culture of it. That's a long hyper fixation, though. 2019. That's five years now. Yeah, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. Yeah, that's, that's, not, <laughs> that's not a phase. Like I definitely go through phases. And I feel yeah. like you a- everyone it. has to start at some time. I was just a late one. How did you find it? I was watching a Nirvana documentary, and uh, this dude named Pat Smear, they were talking about him, and he was um, in The Germs, and The Germs is a punk band, and then... So it was from there. And then I then I like just dove right deep into it. And that's one of your favorite bands. I saw it was like Dead Boys, Germs. Yeah, and um Dead Boys, Germs, and there's a third one. Uh Black Flag, I'd say. Okay, those are like obscure bands, I feel. You like you know the punk. It's not like you just said Sex Pistols or something, which is like oh, the only punk band I know. Yeah. I don't claim to be punk though. Like people be like, he drives a Tesla. Like I don't claim to be. I just like <laughs> yeah. why can't you drive a it. Tesla? No, I don't know. I'm not using gas. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, was that not punk? No, what I got no punk? I wouldn't I I I'd say people say it wouldn't be. I think, okay. I think it's just like, yeah, you like <laughs> punk music and you like, like things it. about it. Like, yeah, it's I like the fashion. I like yeah. the music. The style of it all. Yeah. 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 Would you consider yourself emo? Do you think emos consider you emo? I feel like, well, emos, do they? I I think so. I, I, think it's I, like mean, a, I mean, he like if, uh, the I dictionary so, has a picture of Johnny in it for, under emo. Google does. does. Really? If you type in emo <laughs> boy, Google. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, cool. So would I'm you consider my, yourself? Um. I think so, I guess. Yeah. Why not? Okay. You have, wanna, do you have a danger day spider? It kind of is. It's like or no, it is it is that, but instead of uh the lightning bolt, it's a swirl. Okay. Instead. But it is from the danger days. Have you guys um, done tattoo tours? Well we haven't, but people ask us all the time, well have I've you? Done, I've done them on like like back in the day, but I've gotten so many more. We've gotten this. a lot more. How many we, do you guys have? We try to get one like at least once a week. What? Well he mostly does. Okay, I don't bougie. get Bougie. Those are expensive too. Isn't it like a million dollars to get like your whole sleeve? No, there's no <laughs> way. There's really? No. I heard uh, someone said like, that. I pay around like, I'd say like three hundred a piece. No way. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I guess you do a whole tour of it. Yeah, I'm just waiting to build up more and more, but um he gets more than me though. He's like I mean the more you, you know. get, the more you look at it like Damn, I don't have like any. Yeah. You, you know, just I like, look at this arm. Like, what the hell? I have like no tattoos. Do you have yeah. any that you regret? 
Uh, no. I do. What's yours? Uh, I had my, like, ex-girlfriend, like, tattoo my leg and put, like, you know, like, We Are Number One, the Robbie Rodden guy from okay. Lazy Town? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She did that on my leg. It looks pretty bad. But it's, I don't regret it that much. It just looks bad. Oh, but, just because um, it looks bad, not because it's cheated it. Uh, I don't really care that much. It's okay. just, like, funny. And then I had my grandpa, like, tattoo my leg, like, pop, pop on oh it. Oh, my gosh. And then I, I tattooed this on me when I was drunk. Um, it just says, Art is Dead. It's supposed to be, like... Kind of a reference to Bo Burnham and stuff, his song. And uh, you're a Bo Burnham fan, wow! High yeah. School Musical and Bo Burnham. Yeah, you wouldn't he's, expect that. he's so big into pop culture. He knows everything. It um, is crazy. It is wild. I don't really actually regret any of them though. Those are just like the ones that are more rough, I guess. <laughs> that you, you know? would like, but you don't cover them up or anything. Uh, maybe the one on my leg, just to like put something cooler. But, yeah, you know. It's what served a, his course. About for each other. Would you guys get one for each other? Yeah, probably like a back piece of Jake's face. That would be so, <laughs> would you? Yeah, like Steve-O, no. like Steve-O <gasps> has his whole back. What a cool video, though. Talk about views. You guys would get so many oh views. I guess Johnny and Cursive. You <laughs> know? Oh, well, Jake did right, tattoo right, right on the uh, Angelina Jolie spot yeah, right there. I that forgot, Jake cute. did like tattoo this like star on my stomach. Oh, yeah. he did? Okay, yeah. so well, that's I had to cute. It's really good. Yeah. I had to get it touched up by somebody that actually knew what they were doing. Though. Did you do it with a needle or you just sketched it? No, we did it with like a, like a machine, yeah. Yeah, machine. I did it, yeah. Who let you do that? It got really I infected. One. You had a tattoo machine at your house? Yeah. Is that legal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can just buy them on Amazon. It's, I mean, oh it's probably God. not like safe or anything, but. You know. What? Yeah, what would happen if it could go too deep? Could it like puncture you? Know. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. didn't, so we're fine. <laughs> well, you, it did hurt. Yeah, and it was really gross looking. He kept on mixing up like colors. Yeah, I was, mi- I didn't wash my hands or, the, I, don't, I don't know. I just kind of did it. <laughs> the and I know what I was doing, and it was like, it was like green. Oh my God. For like a couple weeks. Did you do it for videos or just for fun? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. for a video. Okay. Yeah, of course. I would never do that for fun. It I sucked. Th- well, <laughs> I feel like you guys do a lot of things just for funsies. Like he's like, we just kiss for fun. We don't film it. I was well, like, I love that. That was him. That was him. Okay? I love it. This is my favorite Guilty. story. Guilty. Tell me about it. So this was New Year's Eve. Oh my. <laughs> Can we talk about we it? Were both, there's not a story Talk to it. Thoughts. We were both just <laughs> drunk. We were both just drunk, and we just <laughs> joked about it, and then it happened. New, New Year's or birthday? He kissed me on New Year's. And New Year's. Oh my God, that twice. My <gasps> oh shit, she doesn't know. I'm getting. Tara said on her birthday. I'm getting out the ukulele. Broken up and you guys were just making it. Oh my Okay, we weren't God. making out new, okay? I can't help that his lips are plump. <laughs> oh wait, wait, what? So you were at is it your party or yeah, just it was my party, yeah. And they didn't know you were broken up, you guys are broken up and the world doesn't know. And then right. you guys kissed, did someone spot it? He asked me to. It was on a live stream. Okay, <gasps> I guess it's just always me. <laughs> it's literally really always you initiate me. it? <laughs> yeah. The, you pucker up, okay? You're oh, the other half of the I'm deal. I'm not scared. I kind of love that though. I would think you would initiate it. I don't know why. That just gives me the vibe. Skinny jeans are tighter. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I, I get feel it. like you give me, you're more of like the femme, you know, in a good way. Like I no, say I that in such it. a good way. No, but, I get it. <laughs> I understand. But you initiated because you even initiated meeting him. You said you were like mm. tipping him or something on you now? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I no, rated no, him. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. He rated it? me on Twitch. Well, like um, sent his viewers to me on Twitch. Oh, what in that? Okay. Well, say for the people who don't know, because I did not know, rated yeah. you on Twitch means. You, like, it means that whenever I end my life, everyone that watches me will be sent to him. Yeah. Oh, okay. And people don't usually do that. That's like if you... It's like a nice thing to do. Like, you know, shows like your supporters to another person, you know? So it's like giving them a shout out. And who was more popular at the time? Were you guys equally popular? Probably him. I kind of fell off for a minute. Yeah. Really? Interesting. Okay. So how did you get all your followers? Um, I like... (laughs) uh, I just keep on saying everyone buys them. No. No. Because you were on my digital escape. You had that whole thing. Your Vans Warped Tour. Um, So I have a couple buddies um, that I moved in with and people really liked our dynamic. Oh, Sam and and Kobe. I just researched this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trap House. Yes, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, people really liked our dynamic. um, That's right. And yeah, I'd say like that was a pretty uh, nice start. Do you still talk to them? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm hanging out with them like next week or something. Are they still pop? I don't. I just. I just found out all, all, all this this morning. Mm. So they're they're still popular. They're still popping. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Very. They're super popular. Uh, nah, 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 popular. <laughs> so like, what do? Okay. So you guys were like. The, so you guys were all, like living in a house. It was like hype house. <laughs> Is that the vibe? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it was. <laughs> what? Yeah, we renegated, hit the nay nay a few times. Did you? Did you do dances on no, TikTok? Never. No. Uh, I think I've seen a couple TikToks of you doing some silly. Okay, stuff. it was never my idea. They wanted to hop on the trend, and we did that. Okay. I've done. I've done a couple of them too. I get it. Oh, I love. Oh, that one where that. Ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding, ding. I love that one. No, I love that you guys do that. I love that you're open. Our main to it. thing has always been YouTube, though. So. Wait, why? Why YouTube? It just. I. I mean. I, I don't know. I like like putting something, you know, together. TikTok's fun, yeah. but it feels kind of like I'm just posting a story. Right. I like I, I like I like to like, you know, create a little movie. Which is crazy because your TikTok, you get like just 10 million views per TikTok. Well, they're all like shit posts. Which you know? is crazy. What's a shit post? What do you mean shit <laughs> it posts? It means like I just like literally I find a sound and I just like 
You know, yeah. it's it's oh. it's like something that should stand in drafts. I just like. <laughs> You know, it's something I never, like, I don't think out. You know, I just post it. It is crazy. Your last one, it was just, like, you shirtless and gym. Weren't even lip syncing, just music. It has, like, 345,000 likes. And I was like, that's wild. I know. It's pretty awesome. You're, like, the thirst traps. I don't traps. think we're, like, even, like, used to it yet, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. This we like, don't grasp this is, it. This is just, a, like, a past couple of months thing. We... It's so weird. Yeah. yeah. Cause I was watching it. I was like looking at the like, you know, trajectory and I was just like, gosh, like where did this come from? And it's like just so uh -huh. every video, two million views. It's like on her I don't know anyone who gets those views on YouTube. I'm still like shocked. I was telling Moses, I'm like, I'm just shocked by it all. It's like wild. Cause I've been on YouTube for 17 years and I've just like never seen it. And I mean this again in the best way possible, where it's like pretty low effort as yeah. far as like you're <laughs> in the car eating no. and gets two million views. Well, the thing is, is people will post a lot of clips on a TikTok of the videos. So if we over edit it, then it, it doesn't allow them to be able to edit how they want. Oh, I see. So, so they do the edits, the fan edits. Yeah. So if we keep it, it more, more like raw, then it gives them more ability to do something with it. Wow. That's so smart. Cause I did see so many people like our collab that we did. We did like a month mm -hmm. thing. I saw so many clips and I'm just like, wow, people really just clip it, fan edit it. Yeah. Take everything you say and do your looks. Oh, Johnny was like looking like this. He did his hair like this. Yeah. I'm like, wow. They really analyze everything. It's remarkable. It's They're like, the best really though. Great. They're the best. I mean, they help us out so much, you know? Yeah. No, you guys are really like loyal to him. Cause we were talking right before the podcast that you guys gotten hate. Cause you like collabed with me. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. Cause we had just said you guys never are problematic. Like people <laughs> love you. And then you collab with me and it's like i'm so sorry <laughs> it's okay we made it through <laughs> we made it through we're here round two right now you're no, very sweet you're like people change and i'm like i would like to say that too i feel like i've changed a lot so thank oh, you oh yeah no that's that's how i like to view everyone to be honest i know how much i've changed in life and i just continue to every day so oh, i'm not goes. the same person i was yesterday yeah Don't, like agree. that's such a good thing me too i feel the same way everyone changes because we saw a clip so obviously us in the reality house i went back to watch it and you voted me out i think every single time i think it was well, five if i was times. on i would have too i don't even know that no, guy true. i don't even know that <laughs> we Jake. really think it's different I, mean, I don't mind i don't care there was clips of me like i there's so many clips of me just like talking so bad about people and i'm like ah, i like i don't really feel that way i just kind of like talk yeah now you probably don't even care i feel like i used to i used to be a lot more negative and uh, you know i used to you know I, I had friends that i feel like we'd all just be so negative together and then mm. you know one day i found out that like everyone was always negative about me when i wasn't in the room mm. and then i was ah. like wow if you're like if you talk negative with your friends all the time then they're doing it to you too so true so after that moment i mean i don't think i really talk negatively about anyone anymore it's been like years like That's that, amazing. that was like my turning point yeah, and that is so true because I had friends too, and we'd always talk so much shit. And then the day I found out my friend talked shit, it was Shane. And like the minute I found out he was telling people about me, he's like, wait, what'd you say? I said I've heard of him. <laughs> yeah, Shane. Shane does. <laughs> Which we were like so good friends. And like, of course, we would talk shit about so many people. And then the minute someone's like, oh, he used to talk shit about you, and he would call you a liar Lord, and all those things. I remember I was, like, this lore. Yeah. I'm top 10. It's you like know? An <laughs> talking shit is like an addiction too. It you is. Know? You like, you know, sometimes people's relationships, like friendships, like de develop through talking shit like they just oh, that's true. all they want to yeah. do yeah so you like, have to bond I, over that i know friends that like would they walk in the room and they're ready to tell me what's happening I feel like, isn't it crazy i feel like becoming aware of that though really like helps you just stay when out you're of aware of it it gets exhausting you know when you hear someone talking shit it starts oh. to get exhausting oh and it's just like it's such a downer i used to love talking shit about people and like now I'm very i mean you guys are so you're 25 you're 10 years younger than me and you figured this out so it's like mm -hmm. so smart but for me i was just like yeah that's all i thought i could do i mean i still have probably people. moments where i like say stuff about like you know what's going on in the world or hey, what's, we, you know, everybody course, everyone right? needs to fan but i don't yeah. really go like to the level that i used to as like a 20 year old or etc like, yeah I which think is it's, nice honestly no it's like just better you just feel better yeah. also i'm like spiritual so like the karma of it all it just feels better like no one you know there's no negativity that comes back to you That's nice, yeah. i think it's great i don't know i love that you guys think that way because i feel that way too but in reality house i feel that was a competition so you know oh, yeah. like it was it. entertainment too <laughs> Hey guys, I am so excited for spring, mostly because of all the great concerts and shows coming. Olivia Rodrigo, you already know Oscar is excited about that. We have to surprise him, and I am excited for Beetlejuice coming to Orange County. All right, you guys, today's episode is sponsored by SeatGeek. I have used SeatGeek so many times before. They are wonderful. They are great. If you go on my Twitter, I've tweeted before years ago, I got SeatGeek tickets for my dad for basketball games. It's really something for everyone. SeatGeek has over 28 million downloads. It's the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. You're sure to find something you like on SeatGeek. Artists like Drake, Bad Bunny, Nicki Minaj, and Zach Bryan are on tour, so you don't want to miss that. I love SeatGeek because you can also get those up-close tickets that usually sell out on other sites. 
So you get the best deals, the best seats in the house. We love SeatGeek. SeatGeek has a really great system in place. They put all their tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. I'm telling you guys, when I've used SeatGeek before, not sponsored, I've called them. They've helped me get tickets. If they haven't come through, they'll find replacement tickets. They make sure you go see the show. SeatGeek has great customer service, great seats. What more could you want? And you know why I came through for you? Get $20 off your tickets with the code TRISH. That's $20 off your tickets at SeatGeek with the code TRISH, T-R-I-S-H. Be sure to click the link in the description below to get the SeatGeek app. Thanks, SeatGeek, for sponsoring. This is so exciting. We ate 100-year-old eggs, I think, together, and you beat me. That was, I actually had, uh, like, a little bit of PTSD from that. I thought about it for, like, a month straight. Like, I, I would think, like, if I was about to throw up or something, the number one thought that would come to my, my mind would it be hates. the eggs. Like, no, no, no. They were actually so nasty. They were so disgusting. It was the disgusting. worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. Yeah. It tasted like, like, literally poop. It was awful. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I was on a lot of drugs, too, during that time. Like, I was on so many drugs in that house. So I was just like, well, I was coming off them. I wasn't doing them in the house, but I was coming off them that day. And I just remember, like, that's why I wear sunglasses. It was just a lot. So eating eggs when you're just, like, f***ed up, it's just, like, mm. the worst thing in the world. My stomach was throwing up for days after, but it was a good time. <laughs> um, oh, my God. Fun. <laughs> uh, would you ever do any sort of, like, reality show? Yeah. Why not? I mean, maybe. I don't know. Depends on what type. Well, because you, know? you recently did in your Valentine's Day one, you were the judge on X Factor and you were the contestant. <laughs> so what'd you what do? What do you think? No. <laughs> it was great. There's a little dancing clip yeah. of Johnny, you were doing ballet. Would you ever do that for real? Like American Idol? Because no. you have other singers. No, I can't. I, I just, it's, mm, I don't know. I don't think I'm like the person that would be what they would want. I'm so, so shy around strangers. Like if it was like a group of my friends getting thrown into a house, like I'd like that. But I... If if I don't know anyone, it's I would be struggling. Really? Yeah. I feel like a reality show and stuff like that is cool, but a competition, like it depends. If it's like oh, a dating one. Oh no, dude, send it in front of an audience. I only like attention yeah. behind a screen. That's wait, only. wait. You do music too, so you don't like you don't perform live. I never have. Wait, what? Yeah, it's scary. I've never heard of a singer who hasn't doesn't want to perform live. It's scary. That's crazy. I wonder what that is. You said you had anxiety. Do you still have it now? Mm. I, I guess so. Like, like, yeah, I'd say so. Because you guys are pretty, like, chill. You guys said you're, like, not nervous. When we get sat down, you're like, are you nervous? I'm like, I don't get nervous. But when I do other people's podcasts, I'm really mm. nervous. And you're like, no, we're not. We don't. It doesn't yeah. matter. For me, it's it's kind of random because I feel like most of the time I don't really care. Yeah. It's just – it's random moments. I don't like to be the center of attention, you know? Really? I guess just in person. Only different. online. I love it online. You don't like I to – oh, it. in real life, you don't like to be – Yeah. I'm the same way. I like to go out really ugly and just, like, not – but I do love to be center of attention and, like, online, of course. Of course. That's it's interesting. The best place. So when you guys go out to parties, but you dress like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't you don't mind that. You just don't want people to talk to you. I mean, it's just so – it's just – I don't <laughs> – how would you explain – you, how would you well, explain I don't, that? I don't – I mean, I, I still – I've played shows before and stuff, and I'm, like, still kind of interested in doing that more. But it, it it is scary. It's like, you know, putting yourself out there. Well, you were on Vans Warped Tour two years? Yeah, but for that, I, I've only played two Vans Warped Tour shows with, like, actually playing. I, like, I did mostly just, like, meetups back then. Oh, you, were, so, you weren't on the but stage? But I've done, like, with the collab channel I did, I did, like, a whole tour with that playing. And I've done, like, a couple other, like, just music-based tours. And, and singing. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, my gosh. But it's been a minute. I mean, That's it's been, like, a year. crazy. Because the Vans Warped, you were on, you were 10 years ago, so you were 16. Yeah. How was that experience? Uh, not the normal, like, 16-year-old experience, but it was really good, honestly. I mean, for the most part, like, it's just weird because there was a lot of, like, drama going on. I guess if you want to call it, I guess that's kind of, like, downplaying it. But there was a lot of, like, controversies and being around that as, like, a 16-year-old. It was just really weird to see happen. It is so, wild because you also yeah. moved out at 14 with a guy who was mm. 21. No, 24. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Wow. Super I'm, normal. This is – and you talk about this? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so and you said it's Brian Stars. You said it. Mm -hmm. Who I I actually know. And I don't know any of these people. Like I didn't know anybody. And yeah. I'm like I just know he was. He was like a popular music interviewer guy, and then I I met it. He did like a tour of his own, and then I met him, and then uh, I. He said, "Come live with me." No, not necessarily. My um, I was very depressed, and I was going to like mental hospitals and going through my dad passing mm -hmm. and everything, and I always wanted to. The only thing I wanted to do was like music and YouTube and stuff like that, like the people I watch. So. Um, he, I met him out at his tour or whatever his show. And, um, then I just kind of like, he saw that I had like quote unquote potential, I guess. And then my mom was like seeing this opportunity of like, you know, something that makes me happy. So 
it just kind of like happened where I moved in with him pretty much because to like start my YouTube career and dropped out of school and um it was it's not normal now looking back at it but we didn't really realize and also like people weren't getting called out back then for like like to that level for being weird and creepy because right because I mean like when I moved in with him he was having me like he was like being like oh you got a drink with me and stuff like <gasps> that and, like handing me drinks at like 15 and stuff like oh my- constantly and you and, never like, thought it was weird back then no I thought it was cool because I right. was like you know, 15, I was like, I'm getting drunk. Like the bands I like, they drink all the time. So right. I thought it was cool. And your so. mom was supportive. She's she like, didn't know about the drinking part. Like until I was older, but yeah. as far as moving in with a 24 year old. Yeah. Cause like, it wasn't like, it was just like, oh, this, you know, this is going to like, you know, this is what you want to do. You want to be, you know, popular. She was like skeptical, but right. like, yeah, it was like, um, just a once in a lifetime opportunity <sighs> thing. So do you, were you glad it happened or like, oh, thank God. Are you like regret it? Um, I think it's a, cool story <laughs> it's a cool story it's, um I, I don't really regret it because I mean that's just how life goes you know there's so many things that happen and you know yeah um but it, it there was a lot of like weird like situations or like he like also managed me and like 360 deal like took 20 percent of everything like instantly when I started making money oh and like my God. all this stuff so and uh at 14 you were 14 I was like 15 probably at that point or something yeah so. oh my god that yeah. is why it's like the Priscilla movie when they let him her move in with Elvis at 14 and yeah, I was yeah. like that's very that the same vibe that, <laughs> that was your Elvis <laughs> right Elvis. Was your Elvis yeah I as much as I'm a cool mom I don't think I'd ever let my daughter at 14 move in with like I a, think it's just like yeah I think it was just like to the times too like it just wasn't as like on our mind of like right. and I was just so depressed like struggling so bad mentally and like it was just so it was like the only thing that seemed like the way to keep me pretty much alive is like giving mm. me this opportunity to the one thing that was like making me happy which was like social media and music and trying to be like people that I looked up to so yeah I mean and, that's uh, I mean but that's in a way good at least you weren't like spiraling and no yeah you, you never did yeah. drugs you guys both never did drugs right um what kind yeah okay. more like the hardcore like not like weed or Oh, hallucinogens don't count. I don't think. Oh, okay. oh yeah, they're right. legal. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> they're legal in Colorado, so I'm like, those don't count. So okay. nothing like hard. No. Okay, then no. Okay. No. No. Nothing <laughs> hard. Good. No. Okay, no. that's good. So you, like you could spiral in that direction and stuff like that, you yeah, know. So no. at least you had drinking is not bad. I feel like drinking is, you know, whatever. Yeah. No, yeah. it was. Uh, I mean, I've had some moments with like drinking and stuff that were like a little like rough, but that was just you know. Um, rough moments in general in my life too so did you but, go to therapy to like deal with like the loss of your dad or anything I yeah they would try to like make me go to therapy and stuff but I was just so closed off and like didn't even mm. want to try it was the same thing with school too I just didn't even want to try to enjoy it so yeah. I just kind of didn't even give it a chance I guess and I would just fight and be like I don't want to even leave the car and so mm. yeah so just I never really gave it a full chance it's really hard to open up to people about you know, that stuff. I mean, not really, like, to people that I talk to that are, like, friends, but yeah, some random person that's being paid to listen to, I guess. Yeah, I get so. that. It's, like, hard. Do you guys yeah. talk to – like, would you talk to each other about deep stuff or no? Um, We have. Yeah. You guys we get have. deep? Like, like, at night. Okay, you guys live together. Congratulations yeah, yeah. on the new house, by the way. It looks so <laughs> I'm cool. I'm laughing. So you guys <laughs> Do you guys get, get deep? deep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we get level. deep. Yeah, we, we kiss and get deep with each other. I feel the but connection. we're straight. <laughs> I just love a good bro man. Like I think yeah. it's so healthy to see like two guys just you know be yeah, deep no, with we, each other. We're definitely like we'll hear each other like on like things that we're going through or anything. But for the most part, we haven't really had anything that's too too crazy lately. I feel like that's like you know super duper deep that you know. But just, yeah, even just little past, things. Okay, just little things. Yeah, yeah but we're always. I know, mean, we're always like talking about to each other like about our day and stuff. You know. Yeah. Okay. Or so. what's going online? Like you yeah. know, if like. If I'm dealing with something, because I get stressed about a lot of things, like do you? Yeah, if like I have a lot of anxiety and stuff, so oh. I always am like I'm a little bit like venting to Jake, and I'm like, yo, I'm like anxious about this, and he's like, dude, it's not that big of a deal, and I'm like, I love that. You know. That's sometimes which be is that like friend. really nice. It's like, oh yeah, and then I'll talk to like my sister too, who you know helps me out, and she'll be like, you're like in your head, and I'm like, oh, sometimes you have to hear it. Sometimes so it's hard. awful to hear that, like it's not a big deal. You're like, Ugh, okay, try being in my head, but sometimes you need to hear that. Yeah, too. I mean, it helps, but it like doesn't make it go away, but it does help. A lot. Yeah, it's yeah. so easy to say, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> but when you have someone who said who doesn't worry about things, like it's so it's such nice. a different perspective. Because if you're by yourself and spiraling or with someone yeah. else, like it's so bad. But that's how I am with like Moses. He's like, it's just not that big of a deal. Like no one's thinking about it. Like yeah. you're thinking about it. You know. 
And but now you have this like popularity and it can be like so much harder because now you're like, oh You're my God. so popular. You guys are. No, you are literally, it's crazy. Like literally the most we're popular. The girls. You are the <laughs> girls. I don't think yeah, anyone the, is more popular than you guys. Girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks for cursing me with that. But no, it's so kidding. cute. You don't want to be baby no. girl. No, I, I love it. I no, he's, funny. you got to own that. Baby no, girl baby for sure. I, I totally get it. <laughs> and what was your life growing up? You have your family, you're close, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 Um, it was, I'd say, like, I grew up fairly normal, you know, fairly. I'd okay, say. well, it's the not fairly part. It's, like, the part that wasn't normal. I don't know. Just, I mean, I feel like every, every, you know, everyone has, like, ups and downs. You know? Yeah. But I'd say, I'd say for the most part, it's pretty normal. You had no, you don't really have anxiety or depression. You have, you recently were diagnosed with autism. Yeah. Which was a little controversial in our last video. Everyone's just no, like, No, no, see, <laughs> I thought that was, like, people, we were saying, you are saying because it's a, it's a thing. It's a trend. I, you know. <laughs> I would rather have someone say silly things about it versus someone come up to me and be like, like I also should feel- I talk slower around you? you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. people, people act like you, people act like I like, have a problem. <laughs> right, you know, like right. I'm chilling. I'm, 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 I also I, feel like comedy with like certain things that you go through is just like, you know, especially with people that you like get to know and everything, it's like fine. Like I make jokes yeah. about my dead dad all the time, et cetera. Like, it or, helps like you my cope. depression. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know. Like you can bring it up, but also make it a little bit silly too. And it's like not a, I don't know. Totally. It just otherwise, depends on the person, I guess, and how they take it. For sure, because so. there's like a stigma. Like, I have a mental illness, autism. Mm-hmm. Like, it just like sounds like such a scary thing, obviously. And so, like, mm-hmm. I think if you make it light, I guess. I Sometimes I'm more the one to like make it light. And I'm like, oh, it's like so funny. And then I look back, I'm like, oh my God, it's so cringy. Yeah, I just, still cringe at myself, but. <laughs> we all do. Shout out Gen Z yeah, for helping do. me. Yeah. We all do. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys cringe at any of your videos? Yeah. I mean, like, anything, really? anything <laughs> always, like, more than maybe a year ago. Oh, you know, really? next year, a year ago, I'll cringe. I mean, next year, I'll look a year um, now. back in cringe. Yeah. You I, will? I think I Maybe. cringe at like some of the stuff I even still do. Really? I don't know. Actually, I think what we do right now, I, I like what we do right now. Yeah, but then I'll put my t-shirt over my head and do a funny voice. Like and I'm that. like, I'm 26. <laughs> I like that. It, but it yeah. keeps you youthful because I really thought you guys were like 20. Yeah. I thought you were like so young. And then I was like, you're yeah. still very young. But I think just because you've both been around for so long, you mm. just seem, because you started young. Yeah. You were 14. What age were you when you started? Uh, th- mid thirteen, I'd say. Not on YouTube though. Like, was, like I was Vine. just, yeah, I was doing like Vine and stuff at like that. Thirteen? I probably Kansas? started like on like at, like eleven or twelve though with like you now and stuff. Yeah, I was. What? Before, yeah, I, was, I got chronically online very early. Wait, how and what did you pay, like? How how were you even introduced to it? You had phones or what? iPod. Fred Figglehorn. <laughs> iPod. Shout out yeah. Lucas Crookshank. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so you had an iPod. What does that mean? Like you were like, you can go on social media. I'm so, I'm yeah, so that old. Was like my first, that was like my first smart device. And I just, you know, I'm on my phone so much during the day. There's not much else to do. And you could get on social media on an iPod? Yeah. Yeah. At the time. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Like an iPod what? Touch. An yeah, iPod Touch. Like remember? Mine, right? yeah, mine? yeah. 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 On your iPod? Yeah, it's an iPod Touch. It looked it looked yeah, like, like an the, iPhone. It's, yeah, it's pretty much the iPhone, but without the phone part. Yeah, I've never heard of that. No. I always taught you like listen to music. I like an iPod. I didn't know you could do that. No, yeah. Oh my god! So you had an iPod Touch, and so you were able to do Vine. <laughs> were you like collabing with other Viners? I just I just loved the online attention. That was the moment when I was like, I like at thirteen. Like what yeah. kind of attention were you getting at thirteen? I was getting. I felt like I had like no friends, so I really liked the online attention. Oh yeah, I'm very similar. I'm the same way. I had like no friends. I still have no friends, and I feel like online is like giving me my social life. You know? <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I was having um. I, I got a uh, a pool table mm-hmm. like from my house, and my friend asked me. They're like, okay, do you have like three other friends to help you live this in. I was like, no. Oh, no? no. <laughs> Who asked you that? Uh, I just, like, I hired someone. And they're like, you don't have, they asked you if you had friends to help you? No, no, my friend did. And oh. then I was like, oh, I, I don't. Okay, I should hire someone. <laughs> yeah, but the, thank God for those things. Because that same way, I don't have any, like, friends, but it's, like, online people. They'll help you. Actually, I bet if you ask TikTok, somebody would be at your house to help you oh, move that sounds, like, horrible. <laughs> so, people, people already, I remember last place, people already came to our house. We don't really? need more. Yeah. What yeah. do you do? Oh, uh, we, like, Take a picture with them. We sign. It no. Them. <laughs> do you? Like, no, we, okay. yeah, we take them in for dinner. I was like, yeah. don't do that. Then they'll just keep coming back. You just like we ignore. Give them, like a thousand dollars. Like a cat. <laughs> you know, you feed a cat and it keeps coming back. Yeah, yeah. No, they will. Do you hide? Are you like, oh, they're no, here? No, I think we just, yeah, we just. <laughs> do you hide? I, I hide. Still to this day, if there's a doorbell, I'm like, no. In no, general. No. Yeah, in general, if anyone comes to the door, I hide. No one answers then. That's good. No, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've, I've answered, I had one person that came to my, when I lived back with my parents, uh, somebody came to my house that was like saying some weird stuff about me for a couple months. And then I, I opened the door and they were right out front, but they were looking the other way. And then what? I closed it and I was like, oh shit. And I like told my sister. And they were talking bad about you, like negative. No, they were like wanting to like pretty much hook up with me. And like oh. they were talking about like a Motel 6 they wanted <gasps> to like, and then I opened my door and it was them. And it was like. 
Yeah. Oh my, That's what crazy. Happened? They could have at least chosen a Marriott. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was the hotel that I was really disappointed by. Um, in San oh, Jose. Oh, and, yeah. And then my sister answered the door and they were like, is Johnny here? And I was like, oh my God, it was them. It was, oh my God. Why did your but, sister answer? I would be like, don't answer, call the um, police. Because uh, I wasn't sure if it was really that person. At first I thought it was my sister because like they had like colored hair. My sister at the time used to dye her hair. So. Oh my God. But luckily they were looking the other way so they didn't notice me. And then I had like, I lived at an apartment before and there was like people that were pretending that they lived there, but they were like listening through my door and stuff. Oh my gosh. Yo, you attract those kind of fans. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, that's not your fault, but. <laughs> I think it's because like I've done some, like my first video that popped off like was me crying about my dad passing and like my struggle with self-harm and stuff. So oh. it was like, I feel like that's very vulnerable and sometimes mm-hmm. people feel a little too connected, but most people yeah. handle it very nicely and stuff, but. Some people can get a little too attached, I guess. That's the blessing so. and the curse when you're like so vulnerable and share all that stuff because like, yeah, yeah. people do think they know you because yeah. they're like, they feel the same thing. Like, I've been through this too. Yeah, but so. showing up to someone's house is crazy. But you guys just yeah. moved. Has anyone, because you have gates at that house. Do you have a gate at this house? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you're gated. That's good. Yeah. And now you have like a pool so you can throw parties. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Uh, Are you guys party people? You guys, yeah, you guys to party. That's what you guys like, all met. I like right, yeah. yeah, I like to go out. He's okay. more of a party guy than me though, but I still like to go out now. I, I, since I've been like living with him and stuff, I go out more than I've ever done so okay that's good i don't do anything at home you know like when i'm at home i feel like i'm in prison you Wait, know? really why I'm, all, I'm just on my phone for like eight hours a day oh. like gotta go do you something gotta get out. how do you find the parties um i don't know it's kind of a loop you know there's like in there's, there's always like, like one place that's like kind of pop or like you know you just get to know more people and then there's just like pockets of people that have parties you know like stuff okay like so that. you're very social I try to be. I have to get drunk though to go out. Like I've tried uh, to go. I try to do it sober, and like I want to go home instantly. Oh my god, partying sober sounds terrible. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. yeah. No, I have to be like every everywhere I go, I go straight to the bar and get a double Jack and Coke. Jack oh and, my. Jack and diet. Jack oh. and diet. Jack's so strong. Oh my god, I can never. Really? Yeah. Like, drink. But yeah, but you know what's funny? Like a lot of people cringe that we like drink whiskey, but it was like cool in the 80s and then, you know. You're very 80s and then, coded, and, yeah. and then like 2000s, it was vodka and, and now it's tequila. Tequila's like, well, it's oh cool. Oh my god, is that the cool drink now? Yeah, but it tastes like my tequila. fucking grandma's ass. Like, I <laughs> yeah, I don't like I, it at tequila's all. Tequila's so bad. Not in a margarita or anything. His grandma's ass is not that good. <laughs> 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 no, dude, like, uh, I mean, whiskey, I mean, to me, is delicious. Whiskey, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's Good. that's very uh, Sunset Strip. You know what yeah, I mean? Like exactly. the whiskey a go go, the Roxy. Yeah. yeah, maybe one day it'll come back. It, like, oh, alcohol, it's weird so. how alcohol yeah. like trends. That you know? is odd because yeah, vodka cranberries were big when I was. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm white saying. Claws yeah. and all that for a minute. We're really oh, white, yeah, that. seltzers were a couple seltzers. years ago. Wait, oh, really? Man. I didn't know, you know White Claw had alcohol. It's like five percent or something. It's like oh, smaller, okay. but like that was like the pop and drink for like yeah, like two years. Everyone was drinking White Claw, but you can't get drunk on that. Yeah, it's it. hard. I get Probably. bloated too soon, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, true. It makes and like, like I wear crop tops sometimes, and you know, so I hate, I hate, drink, I hated drinking white claws. I think in general, alcohol kind of bloats you. That's why I stopped drinking. I feel like, oh my god, it bloats me so much. Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm sure true. It to a level, yeah. Oh, so. interesting. So you guys go out. So you guys are in this new house now, kind of a content house because you guys film together. How yeah. often are you filming? Maybe like once every other day, would you say? Yeah, like all, with each other, yeah. Yeah, we're always doing stuff. Like after this, I'm filming with Tara. We're doing. Uh, cooking video i think for my channel so how do you decide whose channel it goes on because you guys all have very similar content do you well it's like if i just come up with an idea i'll just like like, walk up to john and be like hey can you be in this with me yeah you know we we don't like we don't like brainstorm or anything like that okay so it's very casual yeah yeah yeah. i'll just be like hey can you film this uh eating video with me he's like sure and then we just hit record yeah we all just try to make sure that we're getting like if we need somebody's help like to be in a video or something we just try to we're like yeah we have time this day let's do it yeah let's just all do it together do you you, try to help each other do you film multiples in like one day like you do a lot of mukbangs sometimes but we gotta like we're we're very we think about like how we feel because you know if, if we're not having a good day then we're like okay let's save this for a different day because oh, cause, interesting. because like we you know we we want to be like as silly as possible and witty right. so you know if if I pulled an all nighter or something I'm my I, you know, I could be a grumpy pants and you know really? I won't film that day sure, yeah. who is who yeah. is the who has more attitude who gets more grumpy more emo. Excuse me. Oh, Tara says Jake. What? Yeah. Really? I, I mean, mean, I, I would see why they broke you. up. No, yeah. I'm just I could get, I could get Aww. in my moods. I could get in my moods. What, uh, we, did we talk about science? I think we talked about science. What was yours? Do you know? Oh, science? signs. Yeah. No, not science. Oh, I mean, we talked about science. I got an you F. Left. Same. I'm not a science. Science. Person. I'm a Gemini. You're a Gemini. Ooh. Okay. That explains it. That's why you get moody because you're like double sided. You have two faces. <laughs> I'm a very. It's like. <laughs> to, yeah, but I'm like I'm very minusculely moody. You know. Okay. I feel like I, I am very, 
just pretty in the middle all the time. Okay. You know? It's pretty stable. That's pretty good. Yeah. Moody's not bad either. You're allowed to be I, Well, everyone's got to be Moody. Everyone's got to be a grumpy pants sometimes. You're grumpy pants. Do you ever get grumpy pants? Uh, Not super often. I don't okay. see it, yeah, I never see him actually like, you know, like mad. Wow. You know, I get anxious. Yeah. That's my thing. More anxious. Yeah. 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 You get more That's angry. Kind anxious of thing. maybe depressed a yeah. little bit. Yeah. <laughs> that is what as far as a thing you're vocal about it oh, yeah. and you're successful and i feel like that gives hope to people who are anxious and depressed you know yeah. because it's like you this can is have for you guys yeah no, you have kidding. a functioning life you've gone on tour yeah. you've had relationships you have a good relationship uh, with your mom definitely. and yeah. sister yeah <laughs> would you guys ever make your relationships public again hell yeah um oh, wow. maybe like yeah. down the, down the line yeah. a bit, you know because i you know I feel like it has to be like organic, you know. Yeah, so you wouldn't right away like if you date the girl for a month, you're not gonna put her in your content. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you might. I don't know. I don't you don't, don't even know wrong. someone after a month. <laughs> you don't even know. You don't even know someone after a month, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I just like I can't say how I'm gonna feel, but maybe I'll be down. I just, I don't want to like the last thing like with my first relationship and stuff. I made it a little too much like relationship content though and i think mm. that was like something i don't ever want to do you again, think it though. hurt your relationship the internet i just don't think it's like the right thing to really i don't care like the, it's it's not that about making it like a secret i mean how, yeah. how long how long did we uh wait to like pose oh, okay. yeah a long so time months. like like we we're like at that point where we we're like when we were dating like you know we know knew everything about each other and it was just you know yeah. mm -hmm. do you, were you both content creators though already right you guys I, I was, but because he told me to do it again. Well, okay. Oh, really? Well, so you she, had stopped. You had stopped. Well, you were like a, you weren't like, I knew I wasn't do, no, she wasn't like a YouTuber. Really? No, but when I. Because you when popped I, off too. It's crazy. When I first started dating her, I just like, I, I just like saw that she was like a star. I could just tell. Oh. You know? That's and cool. How did you know? What was it? Uh, I mean, look at her now. She's a. No. Sure. No, you definitely do. Like I've seen I'm you everywhere, star. and that's why <laughs> she is. You do tell. I, but it's like you guys do. It's like you guys. It's not even just the look. It's like this like it factor thing where you're just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, like, I mean, just like she's she's super likable to like yeah. anyone, and like she's super hot. And the girls and, love you too. And witty, yeah, you know, like she just has like all the qualities. Funny, and you cute. know, all the comments on your last thirst trap where you're like shirtless was like, I don't know if I want him or Tara more, you know, and that's like a hard thing. <laughs> they, yeah, yeah, yeah. What they call it? They call it uh, by panic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That, uh, well, I never heard of that. What's by panic? That's fine. Um, it's like when it's like panic the disco, but yeah, different. You see, like <laughs> it's when you see like. I don't know. I think this is it. When you see like two uh, hot people of the opposite gender and you're like, don't know which one you want. Oh, you're like, oh, by panic. By panic. I That's love it. That's at least it. what I've interpreted. Oh, sounds as. Right. It's a cool term. I love these new terms. Yeah. You're the one who surprised me the most as star quality though, because now I would look at you and be like, obviously, yes, star. But back in reality house, like again, whatever, we didn't know each other, but I would never think like that's the one that's going to be the biggest star in like three years. It's Hell crazy. Yeah. You know, you, I mean, you, you, you figure more about yourself every day, you know? Yeah. So. You just, did you guys always want to be famous? Yeah. Yeah. You didn't. Me too. Always. I think so, but like sometimes I freaking like hate having people like talking about me. It's scary. Wait, oh, because it gives you the anxiety. I love it. Yeah. I love, yeah, when, I love when people talk shit on me. I Johnny know, you do? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Because yeah. they're talking about you, so you're like, well, that's yeah, something. Yeah, it doesn't like offend me or, at all. Like, I don't mind people being I don't care curious. like what anyone like says about me in general. Wow. Where did you, online. did you always have that or did it just come recently? I don't know. I think I just slowly throughout the years just stopped giving a rat's dick wow you know? that's a good i still care i still care yeah. like when i saw people giving you hate on twitch i was like oh no and then i was like well i'm not gonna ask them to be on my podcast thank thank god you followed up you're like if you want to spend the podcast because i would never have asked i was like no it's they're gonna get hate i don't want to ask because i get so anxious about through. it yeah i still hate when people don't want like me i really want people to like me i'm like i promise i'm okay i, I, love, when people, human I thing, love when yeah. people like me yeah. yeah well but nobody hates you that's why i think you haven't gotten fully hated I have a you know hate i guess yeah them. i don't know it, you don't know the full hate of it i guess not i guess <laughs> I, I've, I have had, like, people attack me before. Yeah, but Like, it's, when it feels, like, irrational, that's what's, like, super annoying. But yeah. when people, like, want to just kind of dig into my life in general, I'm just like, oh, that's that's kind of interesting. But when someone just, like, wants to hate me for no reason, they're being, a, like, a fat turd, <laughs> then, you know, that is annoying. Yeah. And then yeah. how do you deal with it, like, in real life? Like, in high school or something, like, if people didn't like you? Just say, like, you know, whatever. Drop it's out. just annoying. Drop out. <laughs> 
So you're like, whatever. You're like, drop. I, I with the dropout. I really wanted to drop out of school. I, I wanted to so sometimes. bad too. Really? I didn't want to do it. It's just no, such a, <laughs> it's just such an unusual thing to do in Kansas. Right. Oh yeah. Like, what would you do? Where would you go? Unless yeah. you knew Brian. Well, Sars when I was like, yeah, everyone needs a Brian Sars. <laughs> Which I would honestly, if I had like an Elvis or a Brian, Sars, I would be like, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving too. Yeah. It's a uh, yeah. It's not the right decision, but it was a decision. <laughs> but it got you to where you are. You're yeah, really exactly. successful now. So no, I, yeah, and I I'm happy that I'm where I'm at now. I think Johnny part, Depp so. dropped out of high school. Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, they're all exactly. high school dropouts. Johnny Gilbert. So I mean, like yeah, all the like, big of, stars. No, you have the same vibe. Wasn't he in a band about vampires? He had like a uh, vampire. Johnny band. Depp. Yeah. He was. Yeah, it's a uh, with Alice Cooper. Yeah, yeah, I love that you know that. Yeah. Where do you he guys? Does everything. It's great. You actually I'm wearing an do. Alice Cooper shirt. Yeah, Jake got me. I love Alice Cooper. I used to date his personal assistant. I bought them that. That's cute. Is it vintage? I was the sugar daddy that day. Yeah, it's my sugar daddy. You've been the sugar daddy. That's like your trend right now. Yeah, I started sugar daddy. It's Uh, great. Yeah. Well, I didn't call it that. I was sugar mama. Sugar mama. And did you really buy everything? Did you pay for everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was a good video. But it got 2 million views. So, like, that was nothing to you. You're like, well, (laughs) it's a tenth of what I make on this. (laughs) It's cute videos. It was fun. It was a fun one. It's interesting because, like, even after your guys' breakup, your content is still very based around each other. Like, you're like my ex girlfriend friend and i'm ex-boyfriend and stuff is it weird or well, no because like we're like we're such like we're good friends yeah so there's no weirdness like we like are truly friends it's not like we're like faking it the yeah. only reason why we can do these videos is because we truly feel like the friends. feelings yeah. are not there <laughs> i mean the romantic feelings because we can cut this if you don't want to talk about it but do you do you have any sort of jealousy like if she's flirting or he's flirting do you guys have jealousy no no. None. I think we, sorry. I She'll think talk about boys to me. <laughs> oh, really? Because I know on dropouts, everyone was saying you're flirting. There's that new guy. Who's that guy She's that would talk to Zach or like something? That. Yeah. She was like that before I. When I was in a relationship, I mean, relationship I'm just like. Flirty. Yeah. So he's like. She was okay. like she was like that before I even started dating her. So it it you know I wouldn't be like okay you're dating me now and you have to stop being you. That's you such a secure guy like I, though. I knew what I was signing up for. I mean, not not like it's a no, bad thing, <laughs> but um you know that's like you know that's who yeah. she was when I started dating her. So I didn't want to obviously yeah, change, her. change her. Yeah. Oh my like that's God. what I like about her. How mature? That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. I'm all about changing I'm people. A good guy. So you know <laughs> <laughs> you are a good guy yeah. and you want to change people. No, you're like I'm oh, okay. No, no. And then you're like, <laughs> Absolutely not. That's so messed up. And you said you would date a normie because your last girlfriend was scene girl. It was one oh, girlfriend you had, right? Yeah, yeah. She was kind of scene blue hair. I've talked hair. to some girls, but I've never like dated anyone after that, you know? And you said you would date like a normal girl with well, normal yeah, hair I color. Couldn't. No? You don't think you could date like just a girl that's like in college at a sorority? I don't think so, you know? Because they wouldn't be, understand your lifestyle or? I don't know. So growing up in Kansas and feeling like everyone didn't like me and yeah. everyone was super normal around me it, it makes it like the last thing that i would look for i get it it's like and also to understand like an influencer life and stuff like that is just like very hard to find someone who like gets it although mm-hmm. i married a normie and it's the best thing because i used to only want to date celebrities and stuff like that and they're kind of like they're a little unhinged but yeah. if you're stable then you can date someone unhinged if you're unhinged then maybe you want a stable person yeah i just think the idea I, I i don't really fully know i just kind of if it feels right, it feels right. So I'm just going to That's true. Yeah. That's true. You never you know who you're going to like. Go with the vibes. And you yeah. guys are on, you were on dating apps. I've, I've never no, used never one. I've only used one to like go through the people and like see, but I never ever talked to anyone, nor did I want. I've heard someone say, I did no. that once. Oh. I would never pay to meet people. Wait, really? <laughs> How do you meet? Oh, you go to parties. Well, you go to parties. Yeah. You'll meet and, people. And like, you know, um, I have a buddy that said, you, you, they're like, I like using Tinder, but when I walk in a party, I see so many faces of people I've swiped with. And that's just weird to me. Oh, yeah. That's kind of weird. And then I feel like also with you guys, they might think you're like faker or something. Like I feel like, are you a real person? Because they would see you. They could Google you, reverse yeah. Google image search. Yeah. And, and I, I like, uh, you know, I'm on my phone so much. If I was to like get to know someone, I'd want it to like all be in person. Like I don't right. like I don't like building relationships like texting. Like if I was talking to someone, I probably wouldn't text them that much. Really? Yeah, I just like ask to hang out because I don't like ah. I don't like developing like friendships or relationships like through text. You want to be Because I feel in like person. it's just like soulless in a way. And friendships, you feel the way too. Yeah, like I want like you know I don't want to like grow do I don't want to grow anything right. over text messages so you know? after you rated him on twitch how did the physical meetup happen we barely even talked uh, to yeah we just really? like he literally just came by who invited you invited him oh, over? i think i was already i was coming to he LA. just showed up at my door <laughs> <laughs> i was He's coming like, to la to do some like music video stuff and then we hung out like once and then after that we brought up like oh we should hang out again like come to my house and da 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 and then we like played 
Or then we did a, wrote a song together. And yeah, and, it, Wait, and there was probably only like three, four text messages between us at that time. I'm, yeah. I'm sure wow. we just were like, "Hey, let's hang out," and it happened. And you wrote yeah. a song on the second date, second time you guys hung out together. <laughs> the second, <laughs> the second time. That was the third date. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "That's so cute. I love uh, that." No, yeah, we. I think it was like. I mean, the second time we like met up as people. Yeah. Oh my. That we're dating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah. This is not helping the rumors. You guys were like, I love it though. I love it. And you guys were just like, let's write a song. Or you guys were feeling the vibe. You're like, this is, should be a song. I think like, he had a song written, like an idea. And yeah. then um, he just asked me to be on it and stuff. And I was like, yeah, let's can go. And then we knocked it out like yeah. a day or two later. Wow. And I like, uh, like I, I love hanging out with Johnny. Like in the beginning, like it just was like constant fun. Now it sucks. But like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like your guys' vibe yeah. is always so good. I love it. And I love how you guys, like we're I past the honeymoon stage. Yeah. So you now know? you're just comfortable. Yeah. And- yeah. I, yeah. I think we need to like break up for a couple months <laughs> yeah. and then like get back together and then we'll like, you know, be the, like exciting again, the, you know? The, the, yeah. Reignite the flame. And, like, we, we've like lived with each other for already a year now. There's like no issues. We're both yeah. so, so I, me saying I'm super chill. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can say that I'm about yourself. I'm a super but nice like we, guy. Yeah, I'm the uh, the most humble guy ever. Um, no, like we we don't have like issues with each other. You know, we're understanding. We talk about things. Sometimes I don't take out the trash. True, but oh. he'll tell he, me that. Yeah. like he'll just be like, "Dude, you oh, know? that's cute. Yeah. I like, love that." Very, Sometimes there's I leave no the stove like, on. I'll leave the stove on. Oh my god, that's dangerous. Okay, right. well, some, you can go. How yeah, am I supposed to so snow? You know, of course. Right, right. How am I supposed to snow? You turn it one way, it might be full max oh and my, not off. Do you guys have a flame or is it electric? Uh, it was the old place. We had a flame. Yeah. Oh my god, you couldn't tell that it was off. No, I just turned it all the way. You know, walk away. That's like the most dangerous. Then you turn on light, and the whole thing. It only happened twice. It's not that big a deal. Very, that, you know, twice is too much. <laughs> it's okay. I saved the day. I turned it off. Yeah. You saved the so day. you're the responsible one in this. Mm, we, I think we both have our different responsibilities. That That's true. On, That's true. Honest. Who takes out the trash? So you have to get trash. Johnny does it a lot. Yeah, I I'm do better. trying to do it more. You don't have a schedule. You guys should have a schedule, and it might be help then. Yeah. That's true. I mean, I sound like I'm doing it fine. So, are you are you physically rolling the trash out? Yeah, yeah. It just wow. like, sounds like no fun. You don't yeah. have anyone doing housekeeping for you guys. Oh, no, <gasps> we we keep it pretty like clean. popular or something. Oh <laughs> my god, everyone has housekeepers, even people who like have a regular job. No, I mean like it's that's like hard for me. I feel like it's hard for me to comprehend. You know, yeah, I feel like Wait, we're really? like we're naturally like kind of like tight in a way. We, oh, my I, room's I, a disaster I, and all what? that. Like I just leave everything's a mess for me. Oh, so you don't care? I'm but talking you, about I'm talking about like spending. Oh, like, you're talking about that? Yeah, uh, no. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I like, I don't know. Like, I always used to, like, growing up, like, I'd always, like, you know, it's, like, dollar menu and stuff like that. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you've always been, like, a budget. So you get budget. Yeah, I, I, I'd i say, like, the budget vibes. I, yeah, yep. getting bargains, stuff like that. What do you spend your money on? Because you guys both make money now. Right now? Um, Tattoos. Paying my editor Tattoos. And stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> that goes back into it. Oh, yeah. Alcohol. Okay, so that's not much. I don't really spend that's that much, much money. That's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Mine's mostly just Ubers and like DoorDash. Oh, Ubers. Yeah. Oh, Ubers are so expensive. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. That's And so what are you saving your money for? Like it's good, but what are you saving it for? I don't know. Uh, just for fun? Just I bought, to have it? I bought the place that we just, so I, that's what I spent my no recent money on. No way. Yeah. Oh my God. Congratulations. I Thank had no you. idea. Oh, that's so huge. I know, right? It's wow. really cool. It's really cool. I'm super You're 25 stoked. and own a house. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my god, that's so cool with the Thank pool. You. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's the best part. <laughs> wow, that's wild. Thank you. <laughs> you probably could. You're like not spending money on anything. Yeah, I mean maybe. I don't know. But then you guys can't live together if you buy a house. So I guess you could there's buy not one. Really like, yeah, there's not really a purpose just yet for me to do anything like yeah. that. And also, like, I don't know. I just saving money is cool, I guess. I love that. I love that you guys are saving. Yeah, we're not like, oh, yeah. No, I do not understand, you know, the <laughs> L.A. culture of, like, buying a table for, like, $7,000. Oh, like, that's how, crazy. I, dude, that would actually I – would, I would probably – be thinking about that for years for one night out yeah yeah that's, crazy. that's insane i think it's just all like an impressing thing like you know we don't like wear designer or anything like that like we don't we don't care to like flex yeah yeah like it doesn't matter but are you like driven by money like when you start making money are you excited to buy it or are you mm-hmm. just yeah okay so then you, like you get excited yeah yeah dude okay. yeah, yeah. We'll okay. like, dude. so it's like it's excited yeah. you're like oh yeah, my god yeah, we yeah, made money yeah, yeah. Yeah. the same way it's so fun and that's like the, the hustle of it all is like when you make money you're like oh my god this is finally making money this is so exciting it's kind of scary though because i'm like i hold myself at this thing like oh now i need to like, keep on maintaining this level of income do you feel that way oh yeah of course interesting because you said you've had ups and downs like you said you were yeah. like on a down and then you're up so i'm surprised because you just know the ebb and flow you know it goes up it goes down yeah. it goes back up again i just don't want to i like yeah, knew i knew that like 
I don't know. I knew that our chemistry, like I felt it was really good. Like when we'd be making videos and I just like, I knew something great would happen. Really? Right away. Yeah. yeah I'd always say that. I'd be like, be like, oh no, dude, we're good. Yeah. Uh, it's like, you know. And finding that's so hard when you find like something that works, you're like, oh my God. This. So how did the duo start? Like, how did you guys were like, we should start making videos all the time together? Well, we like, okay. For, for me personally, um, I usually never have just like random people like on my channel, you know, in general. Um, we just started becoming friends and we kind of grew it organically and like, you know, we'd post stories here yeah, and there, we only but did like, like maybe it, one it or took two like videos. months. Like oh, we, wow. I wanted to like make sure that like the people that watch us both like are very used to us filming. I mean, I mean, felt like natural. Yeah. That yeah. yeah like being together. So yeah. it, it, it was natural. Yeah. So we didn't just like right off the bat, like collab. We like grew our friendship I first. I don't even know. I think we like only started making videos actively, like consistently together, like maybe nine or eight months ago yeah really, yeah yeah oh, wow. like like yeah. i'd say like a, really couple, a month in. or two after we moved in yeah so that's the secret then you guys just started clapping because that's when you really started popping so it was the duo that kind of made it happen yeah. you think yeah. yeah oh for sure they don't care wow. about me on my own no, that's so not true. i went to your channel because i thought you only did twitch i thought you were live streaming then i went no. to your channel i was like oh my god you get the same you get the same views it's like crazy uh, and you're also just eating pizza and stuff yeah. Yeah. yeah it's insane i think people really like um just the the, the, the dynamic i feel like it's really hard to enjoy things when it's just solo i mean like even like yeah. a lot of podcasts it's like multiple people talking even if they're behind the scenes oh yeah. for sure i had a solo podcast and no one cared and then the minute i just have like two or one other person talking it's like oh now it's more interesting it's just mm -hmm. nice because like if you say something interesting then they could bounce off and yeah. it's like it's double the interesting totally it's triple right now <laughs> it's triple it's quadruple <laughs> i want to be in this group i'm like trying so hard I'm, like this is the group i need to be in yeah, I'm for it right now <laughs> I know. I really did try. I looked up some girl. I don't know who it was. I literally typed in a scene girl, and it's like someone's hair that I stole exactly. I don't know who it was. I think I know who she's talking yeah, about. Yeah, I think so, too. She has the like a tiara? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that yeah. That little kitty necklace. Yeah. My space. Yeah. Do you know her? I'm sure you know her. Uh, sounds familiar, the photo. It's I don't like know. maybe like, I don't know, it's like I don't an Audrey Kitchen or something. I don't know. Oh, like I think one I've of heard the, them, yeah. 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 I'm surprised you wouldn't know all the scene girls. Like, well, I feel I was like, like that's I wasn't on MySpace and stuff. You were not? No. I Wait, was really? Like after that, so. Wait, were you on MySpace? I was a child. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. I was probably like 11 <laughs> or 12 I, it was, when it was Facebook so was cool when I discovered really? social media. Yeah, that's yeah. what I started too. It was like Facebook yeah. and you now and Oh, YouTube. wow. Because yeah. your look is so MySpace. Like, I thought right. you would have been on there for sure. No. Where I'm did just, you learn it? Where did you learn this look? I just listened to artists that dressed kind of like this, I guess. And Wow. Uh, I was. As I said, I was a sad boy, and that's just where I gravitated well, towards. I tried so. to get you in my band. You did a song with him the first, uh, yeah. second day, and it's like wow. me. I don't, Johnny. I don't that's play the bass. Up. Okay, I know. It's my biggest regret. I looked at our DMs. I was like, hey, would you want to be in a band? You're like, I have my own. I was like, oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, that's what, what you said? said? Yeah. You said that? I looked it up. It was February of 2020. Wow, you're a turd, Johnny. <laughs> He's like, oh, I actually man. have my own, and we're touring. And I was like, oh, okay, sorry. I did not say we're touring. <laughs> you There's... did. It was like all the dead. Or, I don't know. I have it on my phone. It was something. Oh, she has the receipts, Johnny. I looked it up because I was like, what are you no, <laughs> well, maybe you didn't say two. Maybe you didn't, but you were like, I have my band. Yeah, yeah. You sent me a link to something, and I was like, oh, okay, mm, sorry. I see. I'm a bad guy. I wanted no, you and Sad Boy so bad because you were such the emo boy, and I wanted yeah. all emos in my band. Not anymore, though. Wait, oh, no, what? You still, the emo you still boy are, anymore. baby. No, you still are the yeah. emo boy. No, I don't yeah. think anybody keeps the emo aesthetic anymore. Even like social repos, I think he's kind of dumped it. I think he's just. He's still like standing on benches or whatever is yeah that the, is that the bird guy <laughs> the bird guy he's the ukulele he's i mean he I've, sings, done, I've done tours with him yeah i know who he is he sings on the patio yeah, you guys were like you did yeah, tours we were, together yeah, we were good friends he sings on like a patio oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 yeah. he's yeah, like yeah. my age he's like an elder emo yeah. i guess we yeah. love we love you don't love you had a you had a falling out yeah i mean i just got like with all the people like coming at me online and stuff sometimes it gets a little stressful and stuff and i also like was like friends with people that had problems with them so it just put me in a weird spot you know? yeah but I'm kind of over it. You know? I think like, you're I mean, probably used to being like uh, when people are coming for you for clapping with me. I was like, wait, but you've clapped with so many problematic people. So I feel like you should be. <laughs> that's, the, that's kind of the thing, too. It's like you should be used to it. The interesting thing is like everyone somewhat has some level of controversy. Even like people probably would say that about myself, you know, so I don't think you have any. I don't think there's one. I looked after we talked last time. I was like, mm, Johnny Gilbert canceled. And I don't think you've ever been. I mean, it pops up on TikTok. They're like Johnny Gilbert canceled, Johnny Gilbert this. But, uh, it, but like nothing actually comes up. But yeah, but I mean, I'll see like the top like I'll see like. 10 people like that are upset by me and it'll feel like a hundred to me. So for like right. something. So because you've collabed with like Onision, Eugenia. I never collabed with Onision. I talked to him though. Oh, like, you never went up to his house in Washington? No, no, I luckily did not. There was I mean everyone went up there at some point. I yeah, thought. I know, every, he, he did collab with everyone. <laughs> Jacqueline Glenn um, and Yeah, Jacqueline, I yeah, I've hung out with her and stuff. Yeah. Um, you were so. in the group. You were in the scene. You've been in yeah. groups, too. You're very much like me. You've been in like different groups. Yeah. 
Yeah. But weird. this one is. This one seems lasting. to be like, yeah. Is this forever? I'd like to think so. Hold each other's hand. <laughs> no, my <laughs> hands are clammy. My hands are clammy. She's just making it's... me nervous. She said, <laughs> she said, wow, okay, sorry. <laughs> and you both have manicures? Do you no, do them yourself? I bite my nails. Oh, yeah. Right? You I do? Did. Yeah. That's good. That's oh, so... no. Do you say do it myself? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, it, would look, the... like, it would look so bad. No, are these it... gel? Yeah, it's gel. I love it. I like it. Because, like, what? I don't know, sometimes, like, do you remember, like, a couple years ago when um it was, like, very popular for dudes to paint their nails? Like, dudes that like we're super normal would yeah, do it yeah yeah there's this there's this dude he's like he's like if it's if it's not shipped then it's gay oh my god <laughs> what i think if it's shipped you look dude, crazy there's so many dudes at that time were just like yeah i pay I my nails so much. he what? got chipped he needs yeah. the memo yeah. yeah no i just i don't do manicures i just bite you do it myself and, oh yeah it's horrible I oh it that stopped it stopped me from biting oh, my yeah, nails the gel you can't do you yeah. can't bite them no you can bite them no you can't they're, they're so hard it would be so disgusting it's nice i like like it. Yeah, it's more flavor. I also got a pedicure. You do? Yeah, it was you go nice. in the chairs? Of course. You know, I got like, to pamper myself. Sometimes. I'm scared of people like. You know, I have my little. I have my little bougie moments. Do you go on like the ones on like Ventura Boulevard or something like that? Like those yeah, little... I, just, I just find one like near oh, me. Yeah, those are the best. And you don't like people touching you? No. Why? I've never gotten a massage or like. Wait, really? Yeah. But it's awesome, dude. I know. Yeah. Massages are awesome. Especially those kind of places. It's like you sit there. They're so sweet. I gotta tell them soft though, because it feels like they kick my ass. Some people are like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it feels like I, I want to enjoy it. You uh, know? Yeah, you don't like a rough I just massage. Need, I just need another human's touch. That's all. Like yeah. I don't, I don't need to get like my knots like right. Non knotted. Do you, oh, so you go more for just like the experience, the pampering. You don't need to get stuff. I just out need or to be pampered. Yeah, oh I need God. to get like I love going, burped. <laughs> oh, I need to be burped. Baby girl. Yeah. <laughs> I like going to the doctor. Like I just, I like when they like put the thing on my finger, you know, and put the wrap my arm. I oh, like, li- the, like that feels thing. like therapeutic the blood to me. You love? Yeah, I love that. Okay, <laughs> just it's therapeutic. <laughs> it's just nice. It feels like someone's like taking care of you. Wow, you yeah. should watch like ASMR videos. They have a lot of that where they like you know pamper you and stuff, so you could feel it through start the screen. Making ASMR. I'll look into it. I'll look into it. Have you guys oh, ever yeah. done it? We've no. never done it. Oh my god, if I you made did a ASMR. joke one actually. I think with social repose back in the day. You did. What yeah. were you guys doing? I don't know. We were just kind of making fun. Just like tapping and stuff. We it were would be, like, it, it would be really hard for us to stay quiet. But no, I feel like your guys' voice would be actually very ASMR. People tell me on streams that that's what we they get off. Like Should we try it right now? Yeah, do ASMR. Okay. Do ASMR, cool. POV. It's like that. You're, the camera's your girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. Whenever I stream, okay. people tell me that my voice just makes them fall asleep because I talk usually because you're quieter. boring. So go, yeah. so go like this. <laughs> or I play so, music. So go softer with your voice. No, I feel ASMR. like. I feel, that's, Why? This is, Why, dude? That's everyone, so everyone's, everyone's doing Ooh, it. That's good. That's good. Everyone's doing it. <laughs> you went golem. Yeah, I just like, got the egg. Yeah, got the- <laughs> this guy's gross. <laughs> and well, how would you say it? If the camera was your girlfriend, would you be like, hey, baby girl? I don't know how to talk to look- girls like that. What the f? Yeah, <laughs> we don't. You don't talk like. What do you say to your girlfriends? How do you hit on what people? Girlfriend? We do. We <laughs> don't. We don't hit on people. You have people. no pickup lines? Oh, no. I just talk to them like regular people. And then. You know? Really? Oh, yeah. No, I never hit on anyone. Like, what? If I was interested in someone, like, I, I'm not. No, a flirt. not really. No, if I was interested in someone. Not huh? we really okay. Tara said not a flirt. Begged for him to ask on a date. Interesting. I love yeah. that though. I love that you're that kind of girl because I would be too. Be like, yeah. what's what are we doing? What are we doing on a date? Remember? Damn. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. It was like yeah. We like just hung out and she's like, when do you want to hang out next? And she's like, tomorrow. And oh, I, was like, what I the love hell? that. It's gonna be hard to date someone after her because you don't find <laughs> girls like that. <laughs> I'm serious. Because <laughs> people yeah, love you. you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> It's just gonna be so hard, you know. I don't know. Like, I just like I just like conversate with someone like normally. I don't like. Okay. You know. No. I think it's weird when dudes like are too touchy. Like, let's say like Johnny was like a hot girl, and I was like, yeah, you know, and I was just like testing it out. You don't know if they want to be touched or not. True. You know? Oh God, dating so, so hard. I don't know. It's so creepy. Like if if like if a dude was like, okay, let me let me try this out. See if she likes it and puts his hand on her, yeah, like yeah. die or something. You know, like the the chance that a girl could feel uncomfortable. It's, it's not like, worth it. No, oh, worth it. No. I mean, I love yeah. that, but I just think it's but like. But also, like, grow some balls, dude. No, no that's like, how do you I'm know? Just I'm no. the same way. No, because you have to. Nowadays, people are like, if you don't ask for consent to kiss, like, people, if someone said, like, can I kiss you? I'd be like, mm, that's kind of weird. But I guess that's, like, respectful. Well, I feel like, but... I feel like you got to really know. You know, like, let's say guy, a guy's at a party and does that, you know? Can I that kiss out. you? No, what I'm saying, like, if he just, like, puts his hand on her, like, a girl he's, like, just talking to, like, for the night, right. just to try it out. I mean, I get kissing. Like, I feel like you could, like, 
you could it. sense it, the yeah. sense the vibe that that's there. But right. I'm saying like if a dude like thinks the girl's hot, goes up to her and like you know it's just like touchy right off the bat. And she's like, it's also too awful when you're not into it and you're like, oh, this guy's disgusting. That's what I'm saying. I feel like a lot of yeah. the, most of the time it's probably that. Oh man, it's so hard today. It's so hard today because like, that's totally the respectable thing to do. But yeah, it's like how do you know? Because as a girl, too, I'd be like, oh, he's not into me because he's not touching me. But then it's like, but you want to be? I don't know. It's hard. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. Good. Okay, yeah. that's why that's why it's better to do like the DMs because then if you flirt through the DMs, you kind of get the vibe but then you already kind of know what's going to happen True. you know you know you're both into each other as opposed to like a bar or a club you don't like you said you don't know you touch someone I like you hate the, i hate dma you never do you no. never slide into the dms Mm-mm. I, that's also smart though too because if you guys started dating like let's say someone like was a secret fan but didn't tell you and then you start dating this fan and then something goes bad then they could like destroy your life you know what i mean that's that's fair you're smart i feel like i'm good at catching red flags though okay that's good yeah. what's your biggest ones like what's a big red flag mm, what if they're think. like oh i have no idea who you are i don't even know what youtube is that's fine oh really you well, don't think that's a red flag no they might no, not I don't know, know who i am okay. i'm not that cool <laughs> no but like they know what social media is. Like, i don't even have social media i don't know like i don't i don't have like specific red flags i could okay. just kind of sense you know. when someone you know the energy yeah. yeah like i feel like i could sense when someone's like like you know like level-headed or just like weird you right. know a pretty like i mean like when i met johnny i was like oh my god like Red this flag. is this is about to be my best friend like you I, knew. I, I yeah i knew and you I knew, knew. tara was a star so you have that intuition yeah taurus I, yeah. I feel like i'm good at picking the people around me i like i don't have like that many people around me but the people that i i you know choose i feel like they're all just they're all great that's so good you have that i hope it, you stay with that forever because it's so hard. i'm the opposite i just think everyone's like a good person and then usually they're like shitty or something yeah. like that. Damn. you that's, know what i mean yeah, yeah that's no fun that's no fun i've had my moments though you know where i've it's I've hard dealt not with to that. just like Surprise. let people in you know for sure especially yeah. i feel like i relate to you a lot with the anxiety and like depression and stuff like that mm-hmm. or just loneliness and just like not having like i had a, my dad didn't die but he wasn't around that much so mm-hmm. it's just like anyone that was like a like an older guy i was just like oh they're nice they're cool and then they yeah. ended up being like shitty they prey yeah. on it yeah. yeah which is interesting did you ever feel that from a guy perspective not in like a sexual way but did no. you ever feel like an older guy and you're just kind of like okay that's like dad vibes for me um maybe not like just like like somebody that's just like gonna be like a friend and watch over me more so and just like mm-hmm. help out but you looked for that you think i don't think i looked for it but i mean there was definitely like people i found like more comfort like oh they're they got my back kind of thing okay. but i think i still have that to a degree because like any friendship i have that but Never like somebody that's like, oh, this person's going to be, you know, my dad replacement <laughs> no, right. or whatever. You know? But you feel like even because I called I you like dad I thought it was weird vibes. when he started wanting me to tuck him in. I thought that was weird. <laughs> it, that wasn't weird. You're, you only made it weird because you brought it up. It was normal. That would be cute. That would be a cute little video if you guys did that. Yeah, do the military tuck. Wait, what is that? Wait, were you? Th- was your it's dad? It's when you get the blanket and like you know you tuck it under them. That'd be a make cute very video. Tight. It'd be such a cute <laughs> video of you tucking me in. What? Your dad is the best. Yeah, is my he a, dad. Was that. he a military person? He was in the air force. Yeah. Oh my god, that makes so much sense. You were like this like my military dad's in kid. The air. <laughs> oh. Aww. <laughs> Where is he? Do you like, he's have? Like, he's in like a cookie jar. You have it? No, yeah. No, my mom has it. Okay. It's right next to my dog's ashes and everything. Okay. So we're building like a little army of ashes. Oh, that's okay. That's, Thanos. You know, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's I love cool. that. Maybe you can meet him someday. No, I'm just kidding. Do you talk? Do you talk to him? Do you have that no, spiritual? What no. The f- what spirituality? I don't know. Like an aquarium. <laughs> Hey, Hello. <laughs> did you see? There's a TikTok. Do you know Silent Alex, treatment. Do you know the guy Alex Warren on TikTok? Yeah, yeah. He did one. I love He's his like dad, dead humor. He so. both of his parents. He yeah. like unboxed them. Like oh, he yeah, had the, the unboxing. unboxing. Box them. It was, oh my god! It was wild. He got him like in a FedEx that envelope. That was so good. Oh my god! And it's so dark because like people who haven't lost a parent, like yeah. you're just like what the. But then I guess if you like lost no, a parent, I totally get what he's he doing okay. with it. Yeah, I'm like damn. I love this his humor. Is, it's great. Oh, it's dark. Oh my gosh. But anyways, yeah. I never know how to act or say in those situations because that's I know, so I'm hard. Sorry. No, no. I love that you talk I'm about it. I'm doing okay. No, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> well, and the fact that you have, I just wondered if it affected you, if you like felt any sort of effect where you're just like, I seek male friendships more oh, than girl no. friendships. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. I hate, I hate them all. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love this friendship and I feel like uh, you guys bond so much over lots of things, but I love that you both have the lip piercings. Yeah. Yours, yeah, mine you are just new. got. Yeah, mine are new. And you have them both because in the video of Valentine's they were one was missing. Yeah. And then you said yeah. one was swollen and then you said you swallowed one. So Yeah, I um What number of piercing is this? Do you have new ones or Well not a lot of people know this, but whenever you get your lips pierced, uh the first time you get bars, like the bars that they have to put in have to be long because it will swell. So like I had that like these long antennas, but that was because that that was because like it was healing. Okay. People like looked at me like, dude. 
that looks horrible. I'm oh, like, there, these yeah. are like my healing bars, but now they're they're um now they're the right size. I like them a lot. Did you, you know? swallow one for real? I don't know. I might have. I don't know. We don't know. It was there, then it was gone. I got my nipples pierced though when he did. Yeah, so. you were yeah. trending for that, which I, is, I thought I was in trouble. Yeah, that is that scary. Yeah. Some of the anxiety, you're probably like, oh shit, what you did I trending. do? I was trending too, and I got nervous immediately. I was like, what this, happened? This time you're in the clear. You're good. This time I was in the clear. <laughs> yeah. You're you trend for cool things though. People want to see your body. They're like, oh my god, look at his I nipple. I look we like, both have our nipples pierced now. I heard that wow. you said at one point you would never do that. Yeah, I, I oh, thought wow. I was really scared of it. Look at my. You're influence. morphing into each other. Wait, so you had him done first, and then you got him. And then you had your lip done, and then you got it. Yeah, we made a joke the other day. What if we like slowly like morphed into one person? It's kind of hard, right? <laughs> I yeah. get my lips. It's He's happening. getting his nipples. Yeah. yeah, but then I would have to like work out and stuff, and I'm like really we lazy. Have, we have a gym in the house. You see, he said that he was gonna start. No, I soon. might actually, cause like. Wait, why? You're so skinny. You don't need to work handsome. out. Yeah, but I need like I need a little. It, like, it would be unfair to other guys. I think also wouldn't match your aesthetic. I don't know what your body looks look, like, but I mean, I'm sure. Like He's a, talking about just like a little tone, like a banana slug, a little bit. Like I don't want to get. You see Santa Cruz? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I don't want to get like, you know, I just like when I like, I just like to be a little toned. Did you work out? Like not a lot. Okay. Yeah. Not a but lot. But just here and there. Yeah. I You're just lucky. Because like, you just eat fast food. I'm a calorie that's whore. That's yeah. yeah. I'm a calorie whore. And then, but I don't, that's like the main thing I think about. Like I, I, uh, work out barely. Oh, wow. You're lucky. And then you eat all this fast food and stuff like that. You're like. Yeah. Well, I, usually like on videos, I just take one bite of it. Like <laughs> like off camera, I got literally only eat steak and smoothie bowls. Wait, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you Bro, go down? Here's the fucking <laughs> blender. Every, I know you yeah. hear that shit. Dude. Oh, yum. Well, you make the it? blender yeah. every, every day at 7 a.m. Do, do you make it for him too? No. He didn't want to eat that shit. What do you eat? Door chicken dash. nuggets. Yeah, I just oh, eat DoorDash. Okay. Fast mm, food. And the like, chicken nugget diet for sure. Fast food, fast food and like microwavable food. So you don't need to work out. You're so skinny and you can eat. Yeah, but I kind of want like a little bit of like tone. Like I think that'd be kind of nice. Do you think that goes with your vibe, your aesthetic though? A, li- a little, because like then at least I don't look like this. I don't know. But I feel like, <laughs> not to say you look like it, but I feel like people like like Nicole Richie said she likes sickly looking people that are like dying. Okay, you know. Well, never mind. Maybe this is. The vibe. I think that's the vibe, and not I you looking so. like that, but you know they like that gaunt. Just yeah. I don't know. Like just scrawny looking emo yeah. guy. Yeah. He's I working know. it. He's working it. I don't Do know who's looking for that, but. <laughs> You know, that's a good I, thing to hear. I saw when he tweeted the shirtless one, you tweeted you tweeted right underneath it. Yeah, yeah. You said, what did you say? You said oh, something I saw like, like an alien picture that was supposed oh, yeah, to be yeah, me. Yeah. You're like, yeah. my body. <laughs> yeah, you true. probably have similar body types, though, because your legs look the same. Like, you probably have similar. Yeah, but he's got, like, he's got, like, muscle. Like, right. If he were to, like, do the arm thing, I would have, like. Oh, flexing. Yeah, oh, flexing. I have no he muscle have... either. Yeah. It's yeah. only just because I eat a lot of protein. Like, the really steak. don't work out that much. Yeah, maybe I should eat protein. Do you do steak? You don't do steak? I just don't. I'm lazy. I don't cook it. Would you cook it for him if he wanted to? Yeah, but, yeah steak. but he wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I think well, you should. I love steak. What the- you guys should swap diets for like a week. Oh, that's actually kind of funny. For a video, oh, you know, and eat like yeah. him for real. Do it. Don't cheat. And then you eat like him for like, I don't know, maybe even a month. Try it. Oh my God. That's a maybe long fun. time. That's a long- okay, I would do, do it week, for a do day. Jake would no. hate his life. <laughs> I would hate my life because like I'm very like routine oriented. Yeah. Oh, okay. I ha- like if I'm not, if I don't do my routine, then like my day is kind of wonky. Oh, you know? interesting. Yeah. So you have to have that structure. Are you, and you're up early. You're an early person. Yeah, I because I hate I hate staying up late because like I kind of just like lay on my bed like I think about like okay I'm ready for tomorrow I'm ready to like wake up drink my monster and go to the gym oh my god you know <laughs> so you just, like, let's go to bed and get it over yeah, with yeah so I'll be like I hate when I'm like wide awake at night I'm just like laying there for hours like okay I'm done with the day you know wow. so I gotta wake up so today I woke up at 6 wow yeah, I wake Whoa. up I drink a monster maybe smoke smoke a cigarette Oh wow! Oh wow! You do smoke. Likes, I forgot about that. Yeah. I know it's so bad. Why? He said he's gonna stop I'm, every twelve I'm a, times. I'm just a fat turd, you know. Like <laughs> I, I, anything in front of me, like you know, energy drinks, like anything that can be addictive. I, I just love it. Energy you know? drinks might be worse than cigarettes. I heard. I know. I had yeah. six. Yeah. So you should just keep the on other doing day. both. I had <laughs> six. Yeah. I know, right? Energy drinks. Job. Yeah. If I don't notice an immediate change, you know, like uh, energy drinks, cigarettes, like I'll do them all day and not just. Like, because like, you don't notice an immediate change. Right. So you're you like, I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah. Yeah. And it'll catch up to me one day. But like, I'm such in a right now mindset yeah. that I just don't think about it. Right. I guess. I mean, there's no long term studies. I don't know. Maybe there is. Someone there died. definitely is. <laughs> is there okay? I'm, I'm, I'm so out. fucked. I'm so fucked. You but, think? Well, I think we all kind of like are. My future self is going to be so, so mad at me. You never 
know, though. Look at, like, like Tommy Lee. You know, he mm. admittedly did, like, a bunch of drugs and drinking and, like, snorted ants and stuff like that. And he's still kicking at, like, yeah. 65. That's looks true. pretty good. Ozzy Osbourne still kicking at? Oh, my God. That's a great yeah. example. Because yeah. I, well, I talked about it watching that movie. And I was just like, God, he did everything. Yeah. And he's, he's, he's pretty still, good for, yeah. like, how, like crazy he went you know so, so i feel like you guys are not even that hardcore right you're doing red no. bulls and cigarettes not too bad no you're yeah in the clear yeah i don't know but wouldn't that be crazy if red bulls were worse than all like those drug uses of like motley crew and you end up like <laughs> i mean well, it's, it's pretty, all good but yeah. sounds like a lawsuit then <laughs> this, they taste so good i don't even do it for the caffeine I you just love, like the taste I love the taste of monster. my mom is the same way my mom and sister they drink red bulls all the time and like just like the taste i was like what that's so it. weird yeah it, tastes like, it gives me anxiety too i feel like it makes me too energetic to I where i get like anxious same i always think i'm gonna have a heart attack I'm, I'm like oh my god i'm gonna like my heart's gonna give out right now if i drink yeah. this it's so weird i may eat fast food but you know yeah. <laughs> i just think I like red bull, whatever. i will never stop like eating fa- like fast food like so oh, like so i good. have steak and a smoothie bowl in the morning that at night i'm like so pretty much like i have two meals a day like steak and smoothie in the morning and then at night like i'll like browse what fast food place i want like usually have fast food at least once a night postmates yeah i get like the healthy food like out the way in the morning okay. then you know <laughs> My late, my late night YouTube and good, Yeah. My actual fave we didn't even eat in your guys' car because I love chicken nuggets. I love mm. spicy nuggets from Wendy's. I love chicken oh, fries yeah, from Burger King. They took, remember they took away the spicy nuggets for years. But they're back. They're, they're back, there now. Baby. Oh, yeah, they're so good. Wendy's is the best kind of right now. They're kind of killing it with everything. Their little cookies and their Frosties. The Frosties are oh, so yeah. good. Oh, it's so amazing. I love it. I love that you guys do the fast food. I'm, I'm such a fast food girl. I don't think I could ever get Me it too. Up. Like, mm. I mean, that's like... That's, I feel like that's just, like, the fun in anything. Like, you know, yeah. if you hang out with someone, like, going to get food is, like, the best thing to do. I think so, too. When people say Ozempic doesn't make you hungry, it makes me scared to get on it. Because, like, I love eating with people, though. It would be I so weird. I about that. Like, someone thought I, I took it. Oh, because probably because, yeah, you, like, did you lose a bunch? No, but you were always skinny. I was, I've been 20 pounds uh, more. Oh, I see. So, I have, like, I'm, like, a binge eater. So, like, oh. um, yeah. You're actually a I, binge eater, right? Did we talk about this? Yeah. Like, I, yeah. like people, people feel sad for me like online because like i'm a calorie whore but if i wasn't a calorie whore then i would be binging like it's it's pretty much a way to keep myself from not binge eating wait, the opposite wait what do you mean so wait what's a calorie whore first of all this is like the third um, time like, you mentioned I, like, it. I, I like i count i count my calories because oh. l- like i don't stop eating throughout the day like okay. i eat any i mean you could even ask tara like it's actually crazy when, I'm, when I'm at dinner i have at least at least five diet cokes Oh. I, you just, like, keep them coming. Yeah. Really? Like, I can't he does stop consuming. I like, going to my food sometimes. Oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah, oh even my... today. Even yeah, today. What'd you guys eat? I got, I, today, I got, um, on, on my way to pick up Tara, I was drinking a Monster, and then we stopped, and I got a Diet Coke, and then I went to another business, and I got a medium tea. And I just like I just. What do you mean another it. business? What does that mean? Uh, just another place. Like I went right, to another, the coffee bean, and but the first place is the bagel place because we got your. Uh, Thank bagels. you, by the way. I love yeah. Hanks. It's like my favorite. I'm so excited for him. Oh I my found God. it because like I I like I I love Reddit in the sense that like it has um it there's like a community called like Food Los Angeles. Oh, I didn't and know. they'll tell you like all like what's known as like the best. Really? Yeah. Oh, I had to find it. I don't go on Reddit. I mean, you would you would like it. Okay, oh. I have to find it. I gotta it. stop going on Reddit. Don't go on there. That's worse than all my, those things. I just oh, look yeah. at my account and it's I like, only go Johnny. For food. <laughs> okay, I can't even, I don't even want to click on it to check up on anybody. I'm like, no, it's awful. Oh, I just yeah. look at what people say about me and I'm like, oh, don't, this is. Well, well, that's why you have depression. Get yeah, I Reddit. know. <laughs> yeah, I do that and then I'll look at my name on Twitter and it's like, oh, this don't guy now. do that. Oh my I god, know. that is worse than the Red Bulls and the cigarettes yeah. and all of it. But Diet that's Coke. true. They say they say stress is like the worst thing on your body. Oh, oh no, it's great. I love a it. A thousand percent stress. But I guess you get enough sleep. You said you're like a vampire. You wake up at like five o'clock. Not anymore. Afternoon. I started waking up at like eight or ten. Now. Did you wow. say Diet Coke? Okay, so Diet Coke. <laughs> can I tell you? I'm pregnant, and my doctor is like. I'd rather you drink wine or beer than have Diet Coke while wow. pregnant. I remember you mentioning yeah, that. Yeah, and they, because I love Diet Coke too, but they're like, it literally will kill like a baby at like any stage. So it's like, it, that happens. Like, what is it doing to your But I love Diet Coke, but I tell everybody, I'm like, well, Especially like when you go to a nice restaurant and they put a lemon in it. Oh, it's like, God. okay. Like the Beverly Hills Hotel, this is they have fancy. great Diet, Diet Coke. Diet Coke is such ass. Wait, you don't like it? It's just so, like, I prefer it. Why would I want that? It's so good. It burns your throat. I'd rather have like Dr. Pepper or Cherry Pepsi. Okay, or well, Doc, okay. yes, Dr. Dr. Pepper, Pepper is very for sure. No, I'm a root beer, root beer guy. Wait, really? Yeah, like root beer. Sucks. Root beer, like root beer is good. I root beer, beer, you know, just like I'm about I don't to walk know. out of this podcast right now. I love oh my god, <laughs> you're saying that as if root beer is isn't literally Dr. Pepper's cousin. <laughs> right, you're like I'm walking out. 
That would be good. Yeah. yeah. Just be like, well, at the end, you can do a storm out, be mm-hmm. like something well, now dramatic. They know about it, so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they won't if we put it at the beginning of the video. True, That's like, true. go to this point and watch it. No, soda's the best. I love it. I love Sprite. I love all of it. I think it's so good, but. Just amazing. I love that you guys love it. I love your advocates for fast food. <laughs> that would oh, yeah. be insane too. People are like, uh, don't eat that. I mean, like, you know, fast it's just like if it's like if you give a dog like fast food, it's like the only thing they think about for the rest of their fucking life. You know, Actually, it's, wait, is that a thing? I mean, Pretty I mean much. Like, it yeah. seems like it. Yeah, really? yeah. If you give like a, do- a dog like human foods, I mean like like food is crazy. awesome. Yeah. Food is awesome. I get it. They you just know? are like obsessed with it then. Yeah, yeah. Um, back to the thirst traps. Do you guys get <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Do you because you guys are guys, and we were just talking about this the other True. day on the hot topics. I was like, girls, you know, they don't want their bodies objectified. But do you guys like it or do you feel like it's weird sometimes? What? Uh, Getting like the objectification a... where they're just like, okay, I saw specifically a tweet. I think you replied to it. A girl's like, your music sucks, but you're hot, or something like that. Oh, I said this? Or... I think a girl yeah. said this to you, or maybe I didn't I don't know, maybe I just saw the tweet. My it's okay, all right? <laughs> we're, we're only getting better. But, like, do you care that people comment on your body? Like, the piercings. You were trending because your nipples were piercing. Do you right. – or you um, on dropouts. They were talking about your, like, genitals, and you right. were, like, smiling oh, yeah, yeah. and everything. But I'm like, do you care? Does it make you uncomfortable? No, no. I, like – I've said it, like, before. I don't care what, like, anyone says mm-hmm. about me, like, ever. Like, like negative, good. It doesn't really matter to me. I just don't like, you know, if, you know – people are hated on like around me like mm. because of me oh you right know? you're affected. but anyone could say anything about me i don't care to be objectified i don't care to be like hated on like i've never i don't care do you like it like if girls are like oh wow yes daddy um i think, <laughs> like, fun. I think, I think it just fun. depends on the scenario because like for the most part like i think it's cool and it's a compliment and it's nice but um you know, sometimes people go past a point where it becomes a little weird, like I think it's funny. Like they'll but... say some crazy shit to me. I just laugh about it. You always laugh. Well, I guess you never had someone come to your house that said any of this stuff, right? <laughs> no, but... I mean, like I, I just don't have any sensitivity to it. I guess right. like, it doesn't some... bother me though, like at all. Like when viewers do it, like so they'll say yeah. some crazy shit. Really? What's the yeah. craziest thing you've heard? Uh, I, I think I was on Twitch the other day, and so I don't even know if I can say this on. You can say it. We can bleep it. It was somebody like saying, like I don't know, like um. Something about being inside me or something. They wanted to, like, be inside me or whatever. Oh, my God. The weirdest part is when, like, I was on TikTok Live the other day just, like, chatting about, like, you know, some people's, like, having problems with me or whatever because I think about everything. (laughs) And I was, like, being serious and stuff. And then people were, like, saying, like, you know, being, like, oh, I want to do this to you and shit like that. And it's, like. (gasps) All right, you can say shit like that, whatever, but, like, when I'm, like, having a serious talk, it's a little, like, weird. That's what I wonder. So, so like, when you're trying to be, like, vulnerable and real yeah, and someone's just... that's the only time that it, like, kind of bothers me. Like, okay. if I was playing, like, a show... Like, I remember one time I was on tour and this girl... Um, I was, like, going through my breakup, too, and, like, this girl was, like, instantly, like, saying that she wanted to, like, me or some shit, and... I was just really pissed off about it because I was like, why Why would you say that to someone like right away? Especially when I'm like playing music and stuff. It's You're just still like, like he- that's interesting. I was wondering that about musicians because you know, obviously the Motley Crue guys love it. Yeah, they but love then it, yeah. the Gerard Ways who are like married with a baby, are they just like annoyed by it? You know what I mean? They're I think it's stopped. just, I mean, I don't always like hate it. It's just like the, it just is how it's delivered and like everything also. It's just like, I don't know. Some people are just really aggressive, especially in person when it's like that. Yeah. That's kind of weird. If it's in person, it's weird. Yeah. But I don't care what the hell anyone says online. There was this one time I was <laughs> at the mall. Um, and it's like, obviously it didn't matter. But like this fucking like 12 year old came up to me and they're like, get back with Tara. It's like, dude, like, in you know, person in real life, in person, like to <gasps> my face. And I'm like, if we're yeah. cool. And, and like, I, like I, I get it. But <laughs> I, I, mean, I mean, like, oh. I mean, they don't know how they don't know how I am. Like, right. you know. In real life, like just walking around, that's kind of like a boundary crosser. You yeah. Know? What if you're with someone, like not even dating, but what if you're just with someone mm. and you're just like, yeah. Um, it's not that it offended me. It was just like I just kind of felt like you know, it's bombarded. like you don't you don't do that to people. And yeah. that happened in like a mall or something like that. Yeah, uh, it was weird. I thought it was weird. I thought I thought like my boundaries were crossed. No, for sure. This guy at Chick Fil A always harasses me. He's always like, "Where's David Dobrik?" I'm always just like, "What?" Like it's wow, like ten years really, ago. They really need to tap in again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> been a minute yeah. he always does it too and it's always on camera because i'm filming my mukbangs i'm yeah. just like you're so weird that's, he always just, that's <laughs> some people are so fucking weird the, yeah like that kind of stuff i always think is a little odd i'm always just like mm. it's a little invasive like it's yeah. just like dude why can't you just be chill right you know? that's cool it's like easy just to be normal like well i mean yeah. for some people <laughs> but i mean like but to say stuff like that yeah to course. strangers to it's, strangers it's, like, it's about like relationships and stuff it's exactly weird. in that sense you know it's like People are, t- people are just turds. Yeah, for the most part, though, it doesn't really bother me. Okay. Um, 
It's, it's weird, though, because my viewers will, like, try to defend me from people that say that stuff, too. So then it becomes this argument of people being, like, like, somebody called me, like, pr pretty or something. Like, my viewers yeah. were getting mad about that. They're like, oh, that makes someone comfortable. I'm like, that's Aww. fine. Like, that's not bad at all. And, I like, love that, And though. then it becomes, like, this whole bickering thing, though, of, like, yeah, I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at this point, like, I feel like. People in are. our fan base, <laughs> where where if someone like says like compliments us or says something, mm. um, or like analyzes us, yeah. someone in the comment will be like, "You fucking piece of <laughs> shit." They don't you know, defend like, you so it's hard. It's like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but it's almost like sometimes I just feel like it's just their way to like be mean to someone. Mm. Like, oh, you don't think it's out of like love for you guys? Maybe a little. In a, I mean, yeah, in a, in a way, but like you know, it's it's nice to stick up for us. I totally get it. But sometimes it just feels like they're just like I don't know. It's not that productive. I don't care what people yeah. say. People like, you know, okay, let's say on TikTok. Yeah. You know, um, there'll be a, a video of me and Tara. And someone will comment down below and, you know, say something like, oh, they're going to get back together one day. And it's like, it's fine to, like, analyze us in that way. But right. someone will, like, reply and be like, they're just f***ing <laughs> friends. Yeah. And but it's like, like, it's like, it's like oh, I don't care. Like, <laughs> like, I don't care, like, how people analyze us in any way right she i'm sure yeah you don't care either yeah so it's like it's you don't public. have to like stick up for us there it's like you know i feel like it's kind of just a way to attack someone like, like it's it's nice though right. yeah yeah we signed up for this so it's and you guys leave the comments i saw the one of her photo and you're like i fumbled and I, now everyone analyzes that they're like oh, he wants her back i've seen ones where it's like oh this is them at the same night he here's jake with this person mm. here's tara here they're like trying to like like figure out like the timeline of like the breakup and who's with who and stuff like that yeah and i don't that care to people, me is wild it's, it doesn't like i don't care to be like analyzed you don't care I, if they investigate no i don't care as long as they're not mean to anyone you know, okay that's, that's Do you have to step they in can ever? be mean to me i don't care if someone's mean to me but, but if you're mean, mean to someone else like and it's like due to me then that like makes me feel bad do you say something ever do you ever talk to your fans directly and be like guys don't be mean to each other yeah, i will if i have to yeah. have yeah, you I, ever? Feel like I feel like you've done it a little yeah, bit but yeah, yeah. but not but you more so because you're on twitch so you're interacting more yeah i sometimes i just and i just like if something's on my mind i usually just bring it up publicly that's so. good you like but, to get it out there yeah but sometimes it like maybe makes it worse or something, I feel like. Because then people are like, oh, it's getting a reaction or something. I so, know. It's, you're, it's a catch-22. It's hard I because like, be the, more, people. the more people mm -hmm. watch us, the more it kind of feels like it's it's starting to split in two different sides. It almost way. makes me feel like I need to pull back sometimes my actual feelings from the internet. Wait, sucks. why? Because it feels like when I actually bring up stuff that's like mean towards me or whatever, like it, it encourages some of those people mm. to go harder with it. I, For sure. It's, I feel like sucks. I don't want, I don't ever want the people that watch us to just like be at war with each other. Cause sometimes they are yeah. like, so I want, I want it to be just like a big, like, you know, family, like where everyone's yeah. enjoying it. Like it happened, but like, you know, like, like I was saying earlier, like with the, uh, you know, when people like would analyze me and talk, yeah. you know, people would just, it's like, they're all fighting about it. It's like, just, yeah. just watch yeah. and, and enjoy yeah. Right. It's entertainment. It does become sort of entertaining at that point oh, yeah. too. The it's, comments it's, are the best part. It's, you know? I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's kind of just the idea of like, I mean, maybe some people could see me and Tara like doing shopping spree videos, like as you know, exes, like mm. maybe like a scandalous thing. So then it brings that scandalous energy mm, in the right. comment section. And so then they're like, well, it's her, it's ex for a reason, or like you know, they have their opinions about you guys or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I would like, I would prefer like everyone just to enjoy it together. Like people can like for me personally, people could like analyze, people could say whatever they want as long as like no one's like a turd to each other. You know, <laughs> you should get that trademark. You should yeah. put on merch. Turd. Don't be a turd. Fat turd. Don't that, be a turd. Is cute. No, be sure. you know, there's two types of people in this world. Okay. There's certified chillers. Okay. And then there's turds. Did you just make this up? No, I feel like he's been saying this. That's actually. my philosophy. But this is yours. This is your original. It's not like yeah. slang on the internet. No, it's, no, I say it all the time. Certified chillers. Yeah. And what's the other one? Fat turds. <laughs> no, no. Well, I just <laughs> said turds. I just said turds. <laughs> you said fat turd earlier. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's if they're really yeah, very okay. turdy. Okay. Very turdy. <laughs> Which one are you guys? I'd like to think I'm a certified chiller. You got a little bit of turd in you sometimes. A I could be a turd. Wait, well, what? What is you a turd? You got a turtle head. How would you define it? <laughs> That's cute. I like that. <laughs> a little turtle head. Oh, my God. That, dude. Uh, I like that. That means when you're, you're holding in your boob. No, that a means turtle head? No, that means yeah. that, I think that's when it's like peeking out of your ass. Yeah, it's called oh, turtle head. Like oh, oh. It's that's not so cute. Okay. Anyway. That's why I was reacting in that way. He's oh, gross. I thought, like, you had a turtle he's head. Gross. No, he's gross. <laughs> Oh, I'm a and bad also, guy. also, I don't want to like be a turtle head in general. Oh okay, my sorry. god! I don't want a turtle head. Poop makes me literally want to vomit. Whenever anyone mentions poop, I want to like actually. Do. Oh, I didn't even bring it up. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Huh? <laughs> what is your hate me on me? Wait, really? Are you talking about poop? Everyone talks about poop. She's a little shitter. Tana talks about poop. Everyone's a pooper. I just talk about poop all the time. 
time. I think more people should talk about it because it's natural bodily function. She's an IBS Everyone's, gal. Oh, you're IBS? I think so. Okay. I have diarrhea every day. Oh, wow. I was so nervous to meet you. I had diarrhea before this. Oh, interesting. So you get a nervous <laughs> diarrhea. Well, you know, you should normalize that, especially pretty girls having diarrhea. Thank people will be you. like, thank you. So That's we all such have a shirt. stance. We have a platform. You're IBS, diarrhea. You're depression, anxiety, dad, dad. And you're the autism. Yeah. You're just autism. <laughs> right. You know, I think that's cute. I think we all have a platform. I'm like very mentally ill. We've been to mental hospitals. Like, you know, I think it's cute. That's so slow. Okay. We're totally vibing right now. We're totally vibing. (laughs) You guys look good in the pink too. I like it. It's very, the contrast is really cute. I was wanting to wear pink, but I don't have any. You don't have any pink? No. Oh, I feel like that's a very you thing to wear pink because it's very like, you know, femme, but you're the mask boy wearing Mm. pink. I don't know. I, I, all my clothes are red and black. I just, I I love love those two colors. Yeah. I mean, that's very MCR. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, They're all red and black. You know, yeah. I love the color red. It's just like I feel like it's just you know, sexy. It's sexy. Yeah, talked about like, this. It's like red lipsticks. Uh, really? Also, it, yeah, and like roses. danger. You know, roses, stop blood. signs, blood, blood, ambulances. It means danger and like in oh, like sexy. Okay. Like it's just a very bold color. Oh, wow, you know? Kool Aid man. <laughs> Yeah. You guys should do like there used to be a challenge video back in the day where it's like eating only red food for like twenty four hours. Oh, we did stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, oh, you yeah, did. Yeah. You already did those yeah, challenges. Before, before um, everything changed like dramatically, yeah. we we're kind of just like testing things, yeah. and we kind of did a little bit of a Mr. Beast vibe. But it's like you know, yeah. I'm glad Wait, we're what? Doing... You were giving away money, or what were you doing? No, no, oh, we we're no. doing like just like the 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 like, what's up, you guys? I'm like very very fast paced. You yeah. know, like words on the screen. Thank but, God we're doing. You know, what? I want to see those. I haven't I, seen those. Yeah, they're all right. Okay, they're all right. They were still pretty good, but I was miserable making it. Yeah. Yeah. No, Wait, it's like, why? Just it wasn't your vibe. You uh, like doing it? It's not. We make right now what we genuinely want to make. We're trying to find what works. But I, I thought you know, I realized that well, like raw. there's so many people that like you know will copy people like Mr. Beast. But it's like, why would you ever want to be like? There's always like that better person at it. Yeah. Like Mr. Beast. He could not go into the store and do what we do, you know? Oh, for sure. No so, way. Exactly. So I got to do something that someone else, like, can't do, you know? Yeah, who's getting more views? You or Mr. Beast? Definitely uh, Mr. Beast. Really? Really? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't oh know what God. he gets for views. Oh, my God. He probably gets, like, 100 million views Wait, in a day. Wait, actually? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, someone, he's buying those for sure then, right? It's no. Like a no, he's just so... There's u- no way. He's so mi- universal. No, he's no. actually that famous. It's I don't crazy. think so. I would to his videos because there was I have a whole Mr. Beast like theory I won't get into it but I I have a whole theory about it but I went and his Straight comments the, the first twenty minutes are all different languages like multiple languages well yeah people... yeah because because like he has a, a broad audience no no, no there's like this no. uh, there's a this uh, feature on YouTube where one video you could change the language and they already have it like all. Um, Switch like you could like go to Spanish and like it's already pre-made Spanish like you could go through the options. It's, like, but this was like different lettering, different characters of different languages. You saw it with me. It was like different. Like it, it was different. It looked almost like you bought it, like a farm. You know, like India mm. has like farms where they like comment things for you on your like Facebook or whatever. <laughs> it looked like that just from like different countries and all like different like. I think it was. I have. I don't think it's real. Mr. Beast, we're on to you. I am. Uh, I know. I couldn't get um, me canceled, but I think it's probably real. No, they all. They, okay, yeah, they guys, all. Yeah, I think it's real. He's I got think, chocolate. And like Seven Eleven and Walmart, I think. But have you tasted that chocolate? Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's chocolate. It's not good. Oh. And even Keith Lee said it. And I'm not. It's not unpopular. The only thing I will say that's honest is I didn't really care for Mr. Beast Burger. But yeah, you know. Mr. Beast Burger was butt shit. Yeah, it was a ghost kitchen. But even he knew that. He that he stopped yeah. it because he said the quality was so bad. So it's a little scammy. Yeah. I mean, I know you're not trying to get canceled. You guys love Mr. Beast. I'm I'm still I I love skeptical. Mr. Beast. Yeah, okay. we are. Yeah, if, <laughs> if, if I saw Mr. Beast in person, I would flip. <laughs> I would have him on the podcast. I'd be like, hey, you want to come sick. on the podcast? Okay, yeah. yeah, no. I, well, we kind of up that. But he sick. seems like a nice guy. I would love if he gave me money. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Just like handing you. Would you go on a challenge? Would you go on a Mr. Beast challenge? Yeah, uh, probably the chapstick challenge with Mr. <laughs> what? What is that? Oh, I'm tasting chapstick. the flavors? The chapstick <laughs> challenge with Mr. School. Guys, we will be doing the chapstick <gasps> challenge with Mr. Beast. Have you guys done chapstick challenge? I did it like back in the day. With when, who? With my ex. Okay, so yeah. not together. Mm-mm. No, should we? No, I'm just kidding. No. But I don't think that's bad because that I think a lot of people did it. I want to yeah, say like yeah. guys did it with guys, girls did it with girls. Yeah. I think I did it with Ricky Dillon. Do you remember him? Yeah. For yeah. O2L. Yeah, of course. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a random video. It was really a long time ago. But I'm kind of O2L. Where are those boys? I'm friends with um, Keenan and JC. Oh, yeah, because you did Reality House. I didn't know them at all. I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, they're very sweet. They're very cool. They're like dads now, right? Didn't they have Ke- babies? Keenan, Keenan. And the other one's married or something like uh, that? He's uh, fiancés. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? They seem like boys to me. And I'm like, wow, it's amazing that they're having like babies. That's a, they're like my friend. I'm like, they're in such a different part of life than me. Like, yeah. Right, yeah. It's, you know? How yeah. old are they older than you? 
Uh, a little bit. They were like what? I think they were like forty five or something. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's like what was JC like? Uh, they're like I think they're around. They're around. They're around what? thirty. Oh, thirty one and thirty two. Someone said yeah. that that Ayla is that her name? Ayla was like thirty two. I'm like, oh, she's a young mom. She's like twenty, and they're like, she's like thirty two. I was like, mm. what? She looks so young. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Wow, they're youthful. That's for sure. Are we gonna be dads? No. Why don't we do one day? Imagine like us as two straight dudes, and we just have like, isn't there a TV show on that? Two straight dudes. Yeah, like with that. Like two and a half men. Yeah. Oh, is that what that is? I think so. Yeah. They had I, a... I don't know what you're even talking yeah, about. Yeah, Charlie Sheen and John Cryer. You remember? I yeah, but was... I don't even know what he's talking oh, about. I don't know. It, maybe he's... that's what you're I'm talking about. I'm saying, what if we're like two straight dads for one? Like you know, for we like, like adopt the oh. kid. No, in real life. That sounds there was, miserable. There was one. No, one thank with, you. What was the one with three hot guys? Do you remember? There's one with like three hot guys, and then one. Day, the what the girl comes like you're a dad and just left the baby on the doorstep and they're like three like it's like Taj Mari and then like these two other really hot guys and they have to raise this baby together you haven't seen that one no idea uh-uh. what the hell that God, is. what is that one do you remember <laughs> oh it was so it's anyways it's on Hulu that's but the that's, scenario yeah. I was talking about <gasps> do you guys should yeah. do like a scripted show like that like sounds just, like a lot of work yeah oh I can, yeah I'm tired <laughs> I liked watching you babysit that day I saw you and Tara doing oh, it Tara, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so cute. You guys were so good, actually. You like buckled them in, like you knew what to do. I feel like I'd be a good dad. I feel like I would be, but I just don't have that responsibility. Yeah, like 15 years. I think people yeah, are becoming that, parents at like 30, 40. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's like right now I can't really I can barely take care of myself. Mm-hmm. I feel you on that. That's smart and you're responsible. Yeah. I yeah. think that's a good thing for sure. Like I tell myself I'm gonna quit like energy drinks and cigarettes every single day. If I was like having a kid, I, I that would be the moment where I would Wait, be, really? Like, it would yeah. click in for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. I'd say so. What a cool era. And I wonder if you guys would still dress like this as dads. Or would oh, you be dads? I'm a, yeah. I'm going to look like one of those dudes at the fucking rainbow room. Yeah. <laughs> just I mean, no, up. rainbow. Uh, rainbow what's room. It? No, no, no. I, no, it's not rainbow room. Roxy. Yeah, it's called uh, the rainbow bar and grill. People, oh, do they change it? I was going to They just like mix room. it up with like, bur- they get it mixed rainbow up with room. burgundy room. Yeah, same idea. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same yeah, yeah. So it's, I always thought that too. Rainbow. Is it still around? Yeah, yeah. No, there's Is like it? there's like uh, like sixty, seventy year old dudes like with no. my exact hair. <laughs> yeah, dude, this thing came up to like Nirvana ruined music. Oh yeah, oh. Like, there's like grumpy old rocker dudes. I love that. Really? I love it. Uh, do you love getting hit on by old men? I love getting hit on by anyone. May same. Are you? Like, I what? love getting hit on by old moms. Do you? Yeah, that's like so I was saying funny. earlier, like they're like. Moms love us. That is funny. I, I wish what that like is. girls my age loved, it, but it's just moms like that talk to me. <laughs> like I, I wonder what that phenomenon is. I guess they're just like living out their youth again. They're like, oh, these young boys or something like that. I hope I'm never that old lady that's like creepy with you know, like J Lo with her dancers. It's like well, I don't know. It's just like a lot. I get it. You look good, but I don't know. Or Ashley Kutcher with Demi Moore. Remember that era? I was just yeah. like, that's a lot. You know, if you're the same age as like your kids, it's kind of weird. That, but. Yeah, I get that. Have you ever dated anyone older than you? No. Never dated I've a mom? I've only dated one person, so. Really? Just not one girl? Yeah, I mean, I've talked to girls, but I've never, like, built a relationship with them, so it just kind of, like, falls through. Wow. I would, though, you know? It, yeah. Like, it just doesn't happen. Really? Yeah, yeah why not? Okay. I, the dynamic is interesting. The older woman, younger, I don't know. It's kind of, it's a little different, I feel. If, yeah, if they're hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a, it's a thing. Um, do you want to date anyone? Uh, yeah. You, you like being know. in a relationship? Yeah, I think so. You're not looking for it right now. You just got out one of one. Day, yeah, I'm trying to. I'm intimidated you know. by it though, but yeah, it sounds cool. But it seemed like your last one was cute. You guys went Target shopping together and stuff like yeah. that. The original like, Jake and Johnny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys did. You I guys... replaced her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's cute. So you didn't miss someone doing that stuff with? Well, I guess uh, you had Jake. I don't even yeah. know. I would just, yeah, I would just, I, I wouldn't try to make content with them like that. I would just kind of be living. Yeah, like, I just I, want an actual relationship that's yeah. like a real one yeah Someone's there like, because like uh, you know we're, everything we're doing online is working we don't like you know need i feel like you up. don't need to mess yeah. up the chemistry and like like where we are are at right now like i don't want it to be like a weird like power dynamic yeah. that's you know? true too it, like messes things up yeah exactly and like, you got the girl vibes with tara so if you need a girl in your video just throw her in yeah, yeah. She's, <laughs> she's always down yeah, i mean if we if i ever like dated someone like i mean occasionally like they could maybe be in a video or whatever yeah. but it's I like mean, i'm not I'm, gonna try to do it the, yeah, I mean, you never know thing. like i don't know you never know you can't you don't really like choose like i feel yeah, like when just you happens like yeah, it just happens. Yeah. What about Valentine's Day plans? What plans? You guys aren't going to do anything uh, cute touchy together. Touchy subject, Trisha. <laughs> Wait, why? Is it? <laughs> no. Are you guys not going to do anything cute for each other or just for yourselves? No. Or the f- Wait, why? Like they have Valentine's Days for girls. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tara what said they we're going to I said, are we hanging out? Tara said that. It's Gilbert yeah. Tine, Gilbert Tine's Day. That's what I saw someone That's tweet cute. about. That's cute. We all just hang out. We're not, like, we're not doing anything. We're just like, hang out. Are you not seeing anyone either? You're not doing anything for Valentine's Day? No plans? 
currently know. You never know. It's coming around, you, you guys. It's next Wednesday. I haven't gone asked yet. Okay. I know there's a thing now where you have to ask someone to be their Valentine. Yeah. My letter was lost. No one, <laughs> just, it probably will be here soon. You'll get so many people on TikTok being like, be my Valentine. Yeah, I'll just ignore it. And you don't think you'll do like a, any content? Well, I guess you did your content already, the tasting Valentine's Day treats and stuff. Yeah, I have like two. I did like two videos for it still. Okay. I, I did too, too many, I think. He did so many yet. Valentine's Day videos. I mean, dude. It's I like love not that. A good, it. It's my favorite Whatever. time of year. Just like love everywhere. And red. Red is the color of the season. Right. So. Mm, yeah, yeah, And yeah. the Chinese New Year's red that's coming February 10th. So you guys have a lot of red to celebrate with. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ghost. Uh, what was that? What was it? What did you just do? A little burp? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no. I honestly didn't see it coming. That's embarrassing. <laughs> what about doing like a Valentine's party? It's not party? embarrassing, okay? <laughs> no, I don't like... care. You're you're not you're, you're making me feel embarrassed when you say things like that. It's very guy. It's very guy coded. So, you know, yeah. Okay. You, uh, like yeah, you know, natural as you would say, We're natural like gas. One of the few straight guys. Go, 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 gas. Yeah, not... burping's gas for <laughs> sure. Do you mind if girls burp in front of you? No. No. You fart and burp in front of? Sorry, you don't fart. Oh, but not like she a sharks. lot. You don't just do it on each other or anything like that. What? <laughs> you do? Yeah. Do you just fart in front of each other? I don't fart really. Like, I, I don't he think doesn't really fart. Me. Oh, I love that it's for so, you. It's so baby girl of him. You know, he's if he if he ever does, it's a toot. <laughs> <laughs> it should be more. I wish more guys were like that. I wish more girls and guys were like that. Like people just fart so casually. We never fart in front of each other. He fart in front of me one time. It happened on accident, and I wanted. I was like, I wanted to puke. I was just like, that's. I can't talk to you. I can't even look at you for like a week. Like, yeah, I was like, imagine it was, being hanging out with Jake. Oh, um, do you fart? Oh I couldn't. God. Guys, stop. <laughs> Is she saying yes? Times, Wait, really? <laughs> well, you're quiet. No, I did not. I would not you do that. You or you? I respect oh, your him. space, Trisha. No, He's gonna I don't do it smell once it. we get in the car. I did not do it. <laughs> well, I did at least not you're not smelly. Okay. Oh, okay. I thought. Well, I first of all, it's natural. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna hate you. I don't know you like that. <laughs> yeah. But if you were in no, a no, circle, if it was a little long, it'd be kind of disrespectful. It's like. Oh, oh my god. god. And everyone was just quiet for oh, like five god. seconds. Part of you would know because his part's making noise. Ew! You don't even try to hold it in. Ta. Squeeze it in. Guys, next subject. I, might, I know. Is, I might actually throw this, up. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Disneyland, right? Uh, <laughs> what happened at Disneyland? Oh, I don't know. I was trying to subject change from. Oh. The He's a good guy. He's a good guy. Wow! Have you guys ever been to Disneyland looking like you look? Looking like I, a duck. <laughs> looking, like you look. <laughs> looking like you look. I haven't yet. I haven't yet. Um, or yeah. a duck. I. Uh, Kind of, I've looked like this for a while. So and you've gone to Disneyland. Yeah. Yeah. But things are, ever since things are, have been different, I wonder what it would be like. Because, like, I, it's so annoying because, like, I used to go out, like, you know, in my Birkenstocks and, like, my pajama pants. And now, you know, like, my dogs are out. You know, like, my toes out in my Birkenstocks. And, like, I'll go somewhere, like, 7-Eleven and, like, I'll, like, take, like, two pictures with people. Yeah. And, and it's, like, very, very, like, casual, like, places that, like... You know, maybe like a year ago I'd go and I would never have anyone come to me. Now it's like, oh my God, I have to like start wearing jeans when I walk outside. Wait, now. really? You change how you dress? You don't go out in flip flops anymore? Well, I, I, just, should, yeah. I just Instacart now. Okay. I don't even grocery shop anymore. How often, like if you got recognized, you go out in public, how often are you getting recognized? Like where? Every time you go out? Like no, no, I'm saying like Ralph's. Like I'd say like two people, I like notice and like I'd say at least two people like no notice, man. So you like can't go out anymore without being recognized? I would say it's really weird. Like Tara, like was telling me the other day, she went to the nail salon and like mm, they just took a couple you. pictures. Well, because you think about all those views, right? Not only are you getting two million on YouTube, which is a lot, but then all the ones on TikTok, like ten million people are watching one TikTok. Like, of course, yeah. they're gonna like recognize you. It's weird. Is it weird for you? Well, it's just like it's cool, but it's like crazy that it's happening. So. It's super cool. I like it a lot. I appreciate it a lot. Yeah. You do. So you'll always take a picture with someone. Of course. Yeah. 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 Of course, unless like you know, I'm like walking through a crowd, which yeah, like the only time happened the other like yeah. the other day. Yeah, we were walking through a crowd, but we had to go, so like we can't like you know we had. And to we walk also didn't through. want to take away from the show that was being performed. Wait, yeah. where were you guys? What show were you at? Uh, so, uh, barely this, human. Yeah, this artist on like they're pretty they're super cool. cool. Were you guys like VIP? Were you guys like? Yeah, we're in the green room. Okay. We're in the green room. But people still came up to you. Well, we like went through the crowd. Yeah. and stuff. you we went through some... general admission. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I I don't think I would be just in general I'd be scared to do that like my couple of moments I didn't go because I and I asked you guys are going on Zach saying I asked mm -hmm. Zach I was like um do you have a like way for me to get in the forum without like going through the general admission and then he yeah. told me too late he's like yeah you can go through it but I'd just be scared just in general also just of my chemical romance fans I'd be scared I wouldn't want to like go through general admission with them you know what I mean They're scared so. they probably look like me <laughs> <laughs> really yeah do you go VIP through that the hairstyles oh my god we went to a Harry Styles concert like ages ago and we got freaking 
Mom, because I'm such a big Harry Styles fan, and I think my fans. Oh, like they knew. I couldn't imagine you at like a My Chemical Romance concert. Oh right, I know. I, I was thinking about. That. I wonder if people know that though. Like, I wonder if people know I'm like a My Chemical oh, Romance. Yeah. They usually hate me. Really? I know everything. Wait, really? Oh you're my God. Uh, you're an icon. On. Even Aww. if even if someone like never looked into you in the, like their life, they I feel like people will still know you. Oh my gosh, thank like, you so you're much. Like that iconic, you know. I feel like I've just been around for so long. I think when you're around for like 17 years, it's just like yeah. you're not gonna go anywhere. People have to know you at some point. You know what yeah. I mean? And just doing all those little things, like even like reality house, even though it's like so like little or whatever, it's just like certain people know you from that. So like the Keenan JC fans, they'll be like, oh, it's I love your like, audience. Yeah. yeah. So I try and just go around, and I think that's what are you? Do you guys ever think you'll do that? Like expand your collaborations more to people mm -hmm. that aren't your demographic yeah i mean as long as like i so we always talk about how just because someone has followers doesn't mean that we'd really want to collab with them it's like the idea of like we want there to be chemistry like good chemistry we yeah. want to like it to be enjoyable so it's like even if someone like was popping and we feel like it wouldn't really work out we probably won't film with them really who's like your dream collab oh my god <laughs> Rhett and link Really? That'd be what? sick. Good Mythical Morning. <laughs> what? Um, I mean, they're that's like literally dream. older Rhett than me. They're like 45. Hit me up, please. Wait, what? Is that a... I watch them every morning. Is that the one where they eat food, the yeah. last meals? Yeah, they're awesome. It's like the older version of us. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. I could actually see that. Um, I think like, I don't know, Smosh would be cool. I like them. So. Wait, what? Are they still... What? Yeah, they got back together. Like the original Smosh vibes. or the new characters no, on the show? No, it's like Anthony and Ian. Yeah. They're doing smash videos. Are they doing skits? What are they doing? Yeah, they're doing like skits and everything now. So, I think that'd be cool to be in. Oh my god, what a, that's Wait, amazing! That's, it's pretty interesting that uh, our dream collabs <laughs> are literally the same dynamic as what like we have. That is mm. weird. That's like the duo. It's like what we like to watch. We're like yeah. doing it. So. That makes sense. You guys that are like the sense. new, and you're the hip younger version. People call us the new Ted and Phil. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we did get that. Yeah, I could see that. Where are they at? They kind of disappeared. They're, huh? they're doing stuff again. They started again. So is one of them come out? They both came out, or I what? Think they both did. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. But that's why they said they're like they're like we're waiting for them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that was a very thing people, in the past. Yeah, I would like I'd like people like I I'm very open about my sexuality. Yeah. You know, I'm like. Which is I'm straight. Okay, you identify. But as like straight. if I was gay, like I would. I'm straight. I would suck dick like it's my <laughs> fucking job. You know, oh like right. I would. Dude, you I would crush would. that shit. I would crush that shit. No, like, I, like, I, but I'm, you know, I'm straight, and like, if I was gay, like, I would let the world know, like, right away, because I'm, I'm very comfortable with myself. Yeah, for sure. It's like very. Yeah. It's also very trendy to be gay right now. I always think it's like very cool. <laughs> oh you know what I mean? Like I am like, oh, you never tried it. You never were like, let's see, maybe curiosity. I just know. Uh, yeah, I think, know? I think okay. you just know for the most part, or you. I mean, I don't know. Everyone's journey's different so but right i've never felt like confused about my like i've all feel like i've always like known myself in a sense like wow like always like i've never like done like you know went on a journey to find myself like i just feel like i've always like known does it feel weird to have to clarify your sexuality to be like yeah, i'm straight like to have to like come out as straight almost no i don't care like pe yeah people could like you know they'll say like silly things and like you know but it doesn't if you're if you're comfortable with yourself it doesn't matter you don't yeah care i don't care if people think i'm gay i don't care if people think i'm bi yeah like i don't give a rat like rat's dick yeah you know like <laughs> right. i don't care you know you're like, like whatever you want to think people about can me. assume whatever like whatever. isn't it funny how people still like question people's sexuality or care that much it's like why do people even care it's just like i think it's, so just, it's like it really only matters mostly for you know how people you know talk to you it's and just like the, also the curiosity the, um, that's true they, like people are very interested in the our life like what we don't show right like they're like who are they talking to like what do they do when they wake up like what are they doing off camera like are they gay you guys should do <laughs> okay you should do a day in the life like that like from morning to night what you do like your routine was interesting your morning routine yeah and then your morning routine would be like so interesting what's yours like are you I would call it an afternoon routine no, I've been waking... <laughs> he's at 10 a.m. he's getting I, earlier I'm, I'm, I've been waking up at like 8 now yeah cause my, because because of my fucking blender I'm no, sure I've had, no I have like busy <laughs> been busy but um what do you do now at 8 o'clock in the morning I don't know you wake up in what? I, yeah, right. Sit on my phone for about an hour. <laughs> okay, so you're okay. So you do do that before anything. You're TikToking. Do -do. You do do. <laughs> I don't remember what I do. <laughs> you what? I don't really know what I do. I you don't just... know what you do this morning? Like, what did you do this morning? I think I went back to bed. You did do that. <laughs> yeah, today. 
I was a little tired. How when you guys like not tomorrow, you said you're gonna go to Zach saying like, how, what's your day like for that? How do you prepare for like a big interview like that? Like this is whatever you're at my house, it's close by, but like his is like Amazon. It's like a bougie studio. It's in like Culver City. Mm, like it's wow. it's security. It's like twelve security to get through to this thing. The green room will have your name and M and M's and just like a whole oh, basket of food. Yeah, that's exciting. It's crazy. M&Ms. But you guys, um, well, how do you prepare for it? Same thing. What, Smoo- what? Smoothie bowl. Steak. Steak. This workout. You're supposed to prepare for your dress <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> well, how do you guys? How long does it take you to get dressed? Your hair, your In like 15 minutes. My butler dresses what? me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, your makeup. You have makeup, so that's a bigger process. I just probably like 40 minutes to do everything. Wow. That's my a long time. Just my hair I just and spray my hair with hairspray and go, rrr, 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 and then you I'm You have ready. like a mullet. This is like bringing back. Yeah. Like, I mean, I go get like a haircut. Like, a, the person who cuts my hair, like, kind of like specializes in it. But, like, well, yeah, people are like, like, how does he get his hair? Like, he uses this probably, like, dude. I'm like, don't even use, I don't use anything. Like, Wait, really? Shampoo. They, God, they speculate about everything. But and I just, you. like, you know, do this in the morning with a little hairspray, and I will go about my day. It's amazing. It's cool hair. Like, from what Thanks. I knew in 2019, the bleach blonde short. This is, like, yeah. such a vibe. I was just always, like, you know, I feel like I was always afraid. Like, I don't know what happened. There was a turning point where I just, like, really stopped giving a shit. But, like, I guess I was kind of, like, really detaching from that the Kansas idea of, like, being scared of, mm. like, stepping out of my boundaries. I mean, stepping out of Your comfort zone. my comfort zone. Right. Yeah. So... I, I, I've always thought about making my hair long. I never did. I always thought about getting blasts and tattoos. Like I would, I would, my first one was like behind my arm because I was like just scared of the commitment. Wow. Like I just always, I always like had like a fear of, um, doing like being what I want because like in Kansas, they were so judgmental to me that like I mm. tried it at one point and then I was like, no, I need to be like them. It's like trauma almost. Like yeah. it's your own PTSD. It's yeah. just like, I'm scared to be different. Kansas yeah. is wild Kansas. too. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> how, I'm kidding. how big was your town? Um, About 1200 people. Oh, okay. You were a small town too. Yeah. My middle school, like, like 25 people in my class. Wow. wow. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh my God. And you came out, how old were you when you came to LA? I was 19, but like I, Wanted to move when I was 13. Yeah, just you know. But it just wasn't possible. Yeah. I tried everything to get out at 13, too. I've never been back to Illinois. after Since my high school graduation, never been back. I was like, eh, it's awful. Yeah. It's corn. It's farm. Yeah. yeah. It's nothing exciting. Um, okay, so if we were all in a band together, what would our band name be called? Canceled. Ooh. <laughs> Copyright Tana and Brooke. Oh, shit. Canceled podcast. Canceled the band. Um, <laughs> it's a great name. That one's a good one. Yeah, I can't take that one apparently. My bad. Uh, <laughs> and you guys aren't canceled. You're unproblematic. Uh, We'd be like the girly pops or something. Ooh, love- mm-hmm. yeah. Like an emo girly band named Curly Pops. Pop. I actually love that. That's it. Yeah, okay, no, that's so really we're the girly good. pops. What kind of music are we are we doing? Well, shit. Uh, are we doing screamo, grunge, pop? I could see. I could see voice. some like, like. Emo club vibes. Mm. You What's know? emo club? Just something like boons, 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 but it's also emo. Ooh, can you do a lyric to that beat? <laughs> I mean, oh. technically, te- I, I, on the spot. Uh, you can't just come up with a lyric? Um, come on, Johnny. All right. Uh, well, there's no beat anymore. Okay, good. Boons, 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 boons. I'm not saying boons. No, but I'm just so good the vibe was there. Boons. No, there's no vibe. I don't even know what the that? subject would be. Yeah, yeah, we'd have to think of like a subject. Be like, I don't know. I guess your music, how would you describe it? Your guys. Wait, so is your song together? So you have a song, Ecstasy, coming yeah. out yeah. February 12th, which I just saw on your ex. I was like, this is very exciting. Yeah. Okay, so it's a it's a duo. It's a duo. You're a duo together in this. Yeah. Singing duo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, no one's a lead singer in this. Uh, well, he's I'm, I'm versus. I'm oh. versus, okay. and he's the chorus. Oh, You're the bridge too. Cool. I'm yeah. like, yeah. I'm more so a feature on this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for his like upcoming like project. Yeah. Okay, yeah. wait. So yeah. is is it part of something bigger? Because there was like yeah. another name on it. Is it? Part yeah, of yeah. It's it's like just a little EP that I'm I'm what? putting. What? And it's yeah. coming out February 12th. The whole EP or just the no, song? No, just that song. Yeah. And you guys, did you guys do a music video for it? Uh, uh, we're planning on it. That'll be like later. Oh my god! Can I ask what the budget's gonna be? We have no million. idea. Yeah, no, probably like I don't know. No idea. But like seventy thousand. Uh, we're working with no. our, our friend. No. Not at all. Not nearly <laughs> yeah. as much. We're working on it with on it with our friend Nas. She's gonna put it all together. Oh my god! And what's the? Do you have a concept or anything? No, I like. I told her I was Free like, range. my brain lately has been mushy. Can you just like come up with something yeah, cool? Yeah. I like, okay. Because lately, like. Lately, I feel like we've had like mashed potato on. brains. Yeah. Wait, why do you think that? Because I feel like now more than ever, you guys have been in a high like creative. Because like, well, yeah, yeah, we like work really hard. Like we don't really take breaks, but like it's at that point where can't take everything can't, on. Yeah, can't take everything on. 
can't commit like i like going to like target like feels like a lot of time out of my day that i could be like working so like but isn't that work because you guys go to target and film it yeah to film it Not but i'm saying like groceries oh, like, everything. like okay. groceries like now mm. i literally like get it delivered so i could keep editing like, like now wow. now i feel like each hour in the day like matters mm. right so, so so like i can't like spend pretty much um time doing thing you know doing yeah. other things but with music like this is like a pa- this is your passion right mm. yeah yeah but like the music video director like usually is the one to come up with ideas so i'd be uh, out, I see. like i used to like want to go out of my way and kind of like you know take a take a little bit of um creative control cre- yeah creative Everyone's control but you know i don't have the time for that anymore and like i'm sure whatever they come up with, it, with is going to be great so like i don't need to insert myself have you done a music video i've seen yours yeah, and yours yeah. are like so good you've done music videos yeah solo yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And did you write your own music then? Yeah. Oh yeah. my god, I didn't know that about you. I mean, yeah. Because you were so good. Like our TikToks. I mean, you kind of are like the star of the TikToks. The way you like performed at the camera. I was like, oh, you're really good at it. But you said you didn't perform live, so I was just like, how do you do? You like practice in the mirror? Did you practice as a kid? Like, how <laughs> like do you just have behind the- being behind. I have the most confidence behind the screen. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing, especially when someone's like filming and stuff like that. I get really self conscious, especially being in other people's TikToks. I'm like, oh my god, I'm like looks so dumb. But you like go for it. Yeah, he does go for it. Yeah, yeah. I go for that. Shit. I love it. But you have your vibe too. I feel like your vibe is very just. It's very different. That's why I'm interested to hear the song. I wish I could mm. hear. I wish you would have given me yeah, we a have, sneak peek. We have one out right now too, and that one that one yeah, was really that's cool. like, what's that one? That one's like old. It's all right. It's, it, no, it's good. I still What's like it called? It. I don't care for it. No, KMS. PMS? No, KMS. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, you're really in touch with the feminine I don't side. Ca- I don't care about my music like after a month of dropping it. Like I, I feel like I Wait, what? I feel like I only am getting like better at it. So like I'll look back at like something I would never make now and then just be like, eh. You Wait, know? really? Yeah, I don't identify with like anything I make. Like, so like, you could sell your catalog and have no problem. You're like, it doesn't matter to me. It's no effect. It's like babies no. to some people. It's like that's my child. Like, I'm I'd rather sell delete it. it than sell it. Uh, but like, uh, uh, no, I'm like starting. I'm I'm starting to like my last few songs are like songs that like I think I'll always like. So I'm like getting to a place where like I'm comfortable like with my music. But mm-hmm. like you know, a lot of my older stuff like. You know, you have to start somewhere. Right, of you know? course. So I don't care for it. The evolution of it. Yeah. What do yeah. you rate this song? I like it a lot. It's cool. You think it's like a top 10, top one, your favorite? It, um, I'd say top five. Yeah, top five. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a fair place to put it. I'm so excited. And you announced, did you announce it today? Is that the first yeah. day of, and yeah. are people like hyped for it? Yeah, yeah. People have been wanting this one for a minute. What's it about? Is it about ecstasy? Uh, it's about like girls. the feeling, yeah, the yeah. feeling of ecstasy. <laughs> Just hot, yeah. Wait, you know? hot girls or the feeling of ecstasy? Well, hot like, girls as a metaphor. feel like the feeling of ecstasy. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. And what does it feel like to you? Describe that. What ecstasy or hot girls? I've never done it, but like I can <laughs> imagine. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so okay, all right. <laughs> this is what this is what you think it would yeah. feel like. Yeah. I've done acid and mushrooms. I guess okay. that's the closest thing. I guess it's like thing. all the same kind of, right? I mean, just like the idea of like, you know, if you like someone, like, just like. Feeling high off it. Yeah, yeah. You're feeling, you feel high, feeling off high off it. Of- I mean, like, oh. I mean, crushing on someone, I feel like, feels like a high. Crushing is the best. I kind of miss the stages of like crushing on someone. Yeah, it, it's fun. The beginning stages of it all. It is, yeah, that's cool. Have you yeah. done ecstasy? No, no. No, okay. Well, no, I don't done, think there's anything wrong with it. Like, yeah, we'll do it one day. I've only done like mushrooms and stuff like that. I feel like they're all the same. I'm not a hallucinogen expert, but I always think they're the same. I know people give me stuff and I'm like, I don't know if this is acid, ecstasy, no. LSD. I don't know what it yeah, is. Yeah, they all hallucinogens, I would say, are all pretty much the same. The it's same. like saying vodka is different than whiskey, to be honest. It's kind of the same, right? Yeah. Same family. Kind of, yeah. Same family. Because yeah. it takes you in a different like dimension. Because you said yeah. you did shrooms. Is that what you just said? Shrooms. Mm-hmm. So like it takes you into like another like parallel to the universe, which is cool. Yeah. Like animals will talk to you. Do you guys have animals? No, uh, not currently. Oh, like I had a dog like talk to me. He knew like my passcode and stuff like that. It was oh. crazy. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, how did he even know my passcode? I never even gave it to him. You know what I mean? That's why it always trips me out. But he knew because I couldn't remember. Whoa. It was wild. That's pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> I always like doing that. But now I'm, I can't do it anymore because I'm no, a mom. But, you know. Yeah, but in no, this room, it would be that. cool, you know, right? Especially mushrooms because like sh- everything gets like brighter and yeah, things stick and, like, out. Yeah, like wiggly. Yeah, but they're I love, legal, it turns right? Me, it turns me into a baby. That's why I like they're, them. They're like oh, really? legal. Yeah, I feel like I feel like a kid on a playground. Really? Yeah, yeah. I just feel so like giddy. They're, but they're legal, right? What mushrooms? Shrooms? I don't. here, um, maybe they're decriminalized. I don't know. I think uh, they are. are. They legal? You know? Yeah, they're legal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, or Colorado. I don't know. Anyways, uh-huh. and there's like microdosing. I think I think it is. I really think it is. I think you can buy like dispensaries or something. You can, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I don't think it's uh, the same level. It's yeah. I don't think it's like you know, 
I think they're doing it low key, but I just yeah. think that they're not really. You know, I feel like cops probably are gonna be like, whatever, they're mushrooms. Right, right, right. You can't Versus really do them much. Being like, oh my god. I don't yeah. endorse any drugs. I'm not a drug person or alcohol person anymore, but that's awesome. You know what I mean? It's more just I don't like the taste or fair. I'm also fair. pregnant, so I can't really do of anything. Course, of course. <laughs> you know what Very I mean? Very understandable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what is the thing that would surprise people the most about you? I don't know. Where pretty, is that your tummy? Yeah, my tummy is going. <gasps> oh, oh, no. Are you guys going to do a mukbang after this? Where are you guys going? Maybe, maybe I'm pregnant too. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> be crazy. Um, the thing that would surprise people, I mean, usually we're so open. Uh, I don't online. have my license yet, so that's pretty. That's, that's surprising right. though, when we all know that shit. First of all, it surprised me. You yeah, didn't drive. It I was surprises like, wow. like people. I'm blonde. That surprises that's, people. That's a big surprise. Oh, right. for him. I've that only had one it. girlfriend. That surprises people. Well, maybe not. <laughs> um, that's, that's good though. I have a dead dad. No, that doesn't surprise me. But that surprised shit. me too. You didn't see those are all surprising things I wouldn't know about you. Uh, yeah, I think everything's already kind of out there though. But I mean, you know, I think that I think that what's surprises people about me is that like i'm a lot quieter and more reserved in mm -hmm. person than in my videos wait really yeah yes. yeah yeah I like if i'm uh, if i'm at a party like i'm just like chilling you, you won't know? go up to somebody no. and just start talking no you're not life of the party i gotta be drunk no i'm not a life of, i'm not loud i'm not like hey guys look at me right you know like i'm just very reserved like hands in my pockets oh wow like, how i am in my videos like I love being like that, and it is natural. It's not like I'm slapping my face to get into it. Yeah. Like, that's how I am when I'm, like, I'm very comfortable with people. I'm a silly goose. <laughs> but, like, if I'm, like, in a public, you know, around, like, strangers, I'm very monotone. And I wouldn't think that. Yeah, I would not think that about you. Because even when we first met, I'm a really awkward well, person. Yeah, people and think I'm, like, I'm like, they're, like, yeah. dude, this, like, they think that I'm, like, having a bad time or something. No, but too. I thought you were having a girl. I was, like, wow, they're really outgoing. Like, I left, like, drained because I was, like, oh, my God, they're so outgoing. I couldn't keep up, you know, because you guys had a lot of energy. You talk. Mm. It's, like, all stuff. Like, I'm, like, I can't keep up I, with I, it. Like, I feel like, well... I felt like very comfortable, like right off the bat, because I feel like you're very like um, outgoing and like you know talkative, and like yeah. you make, you're good at making people feel comfortable. Oh, really? I, yeah. feel, I feel like I'm super awkward, especially just with like young people in general. I feel like anytime mm. I hang out with someone like 25, I'm like, I don't know. I literally feel like a mom. Everyone said that in the video too. They're like, this is like an aunt or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is that TikTok that went viral. <laughs> yeah. You saw that one? Yeah, I think you yeah. reposted it. And it's like, this is like auntie vibes. Be like, how's your piercings? Yeah. Like, just like trying to be cool. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> like, I, I, take. like just in like, you know, if I'm like at a bar or something, I'm, I'm fairly, I'm fairly quiet. That's interesting. Yeah. That's so, yeah, I guess that would be something surprising. Um, what is something like, where do you guys see yourself if you weren't doing YouTube? Um, well, I really liked working at Jimmy John's. You did? Yeah. Do you still go there? I like I love the number three, the totally tuna. Oh Wait, my. Would you, are you saying you'd still be working at Jimmy John's? Probably? Yeah, yeah. What? That's a vibe. Did you see that girl go viral at TikTok because the Jimmy John's she refused to make the sandwich of the person that harassed her? She basically, mm. did you see that one? Uh -huh. What? You're on TikTok all the time. How did you I not know, see it? I know. Sorry, I missed one. They went our viral. TikToks are only our own videos. <laughs> yeah, you repost a lot of them, so I always yeah. just see now all I see yeah. are you guys on my FYP. I'm yeah, like, all right, sorry. it's everywhere. <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> you know, what is your FYP look like? Me. Us. Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's really just you guys. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. it's like a part, like TikTok schooling it's like a for me it's like a part of the job like you know i like to uh stay super connected to the people that like make videos of us so you know i like, yeah, like, like to share them and all that yeah we'll share yeah. them and comment and stuff like that well yeah. i've never seen a fandom like you guys for real i've been in a lot of fandoms in my shout time out to our and fandom though. they rock they, and they're they super rock. nice yeah. i feel like most of the guy fandoms i get into they like hate me or something like that and some of them did but i think most of them were pretty nice i was like yeah, oh they're pretty so. cool yeah. you know yeah yeah they could have their moments like where they kind of like you go at war with each other, but I feel like they're they that's for well. the most part. Yeah, they mean well, and I think they're 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 really nice. I like it. Be kind like, to each other. What are your fandoms? I'm very names? thankful. Very oh, thankful for them. I love that. I think gratitude goes such a far. Fandom like, name? Like, yeah, fandom what's fandom? Name? What do you guys call them? I. I still say like thug pugs. I used to say that when thug I was a kid. Pugs? I know. I used to say that when I was like 13. What's it's a been pug? Like a dog? Yeah. Like okay. the dog with the squish face. Oh no. I don't know if I like really like say it anymore, but I say it at the end of my video. How would you like say it? Outro. What's your sign off? Oh God. Like, yeah, hey, I my did. little thug pug. Thanks like, for watching. I was like, stay happy, not crappy. Less bitch, don't quit. Peace out, thug pugs. Oh my. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's actually a George Washington quote. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was saying that well, since I was like 13 or 14 wow. on my videos. So. Do you still do it? Yeah, usually. I don't what? know why. I probably should stop, huh? That's iconic. No, I miss outros. Like, Joey Graceff always had one. I like, know. They, they Tora were so still cool. rocks the outro. I was, you? Telling, like, her, I was oh telling her. I was telling her. No, you. But yeah. Oh, 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 y
like an outro, <laughs> like, like an Wait, outro slide. Really? Yeah, like, because those like went out of style, but like she still rocks her. I love that. I love keeping old school YouTube alive. Oh my god, you're so good. You're so good on podcasts too, because I see you on the Dropout one, and I'm always like, oh my god. So you guys really need to have. I mean, that's ultimately I think where you guys yeah. should go. Because one, you're great talkers, which I never would think ever. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you know, their straps are usually just you know looking hot or whatever like that. So I was just I like, know, wow. I don't know why they make it of us. Then. I mean, yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> And you guys, it would have such a cool vibe. You could have a red set. You could just, you know, it would be so yeah. cool. Yeah, I feel like the dynamic between, like, Tara, Johnny, and I are, like, you know, it's I feel like we're sick. all alike, but also different. I yeah. feel like it would be a cool laugh. Uh, Oh, and people It'd love cool. you guys. This is the time to do it because everyone's obsessed with all of you guys right now. It's like the place you guys are the group. You were the Until cool group. Until they get group. to know us and figure out that we actually suck. No, yeah. everyone loves you. And I've never seen a group, like I've never seen this in like so long. Probably like Vlog Squad or like back in the day Shane's group mm. and stuff like that. But you haven't seen that in so long. Or Hype House, I guess, was a minute. That thing. Yeah, but that was, yeah. yeah. I didn't <laughs> yeah, watch that one, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like, like TikTokers, like they like got popular super fast and then like, the next day, it's like, who? Isn't that crazy? It's because, like, they don't get to know their personality. Right. It's so You know, quick. it's all, like, sounds. It's like, you know, you can think someone's, like, really hot and then, like. It just depends on, like, I mean, some of them, like, definitely made careers, like, afterwards. And yeah, stuff, true, but, true, yeah. true. But, like, what about the one, you kind of look like him. Remember, he was so big. What was his name? Mm, he mm. dated Charlie. Do you know? Oh, uh, Little Huddy. Little Huddy. Is he still yeah. around? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, doing, he's doing, doing his thing. Is he doing like, music? Yeah, he's dropping like a new song soon. Is he pop? So. Like, is he still pop? Because like, yeah. Alex Warren's pretty yeah, popular. Like, those people are Alex still popular. Alex Warren's going like hard, yeah. Yeah. God, he's, like, I mean, really the people that him. like went off to do something else other than TikTok, I think yeah. those people like stuck around. Yeah. But the people that only did TikTok, like, you know, you, yeah. I feel like, maintain. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you gotta, like, you gotta, like, break out of that and show people your personality. Do something else. Like, YouTube, I feel like, you know, we. I, we love doing YouTube because it's it's just like they get to know us and like they feel like connected to oh, us. Oh yeah, you're talking. And it's just yeah, it's like it's like we're homies. Yeah. But um. And they're relatable. Yeah, and I feel all like it stuff. helps with the music too. It, like makes people yeah. feel more connected. So I, I yeah. like that aspect. So I feel like for it's like sure. I feel like it's the best like um platform for like people to uh check you out on. Yeah, mm-hmm. which I think is cool. I saw you guys did a collab with uh Larry. Larry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, how do you say his name? Larry. Was- yeah, Larry. Larry. I always call him Larry. I yeah. saw him at, he lives out here. He lives by, he was on a Target. He came up to me and he said, oh, God sweet. bless. And I was like, wow, thank you. God bless you too. <laughs> I don't know him, but it's like, it's cool when you can see people like pop off like that and stuff like that. And yeah. I saw him do a video with you guys, the turning emo one. And I was yeah, like, that was fine. so if someone just messages you, who, I don't know who messaged you. Do you guys message him or he messaged you? Um, I don't remember. Do you just say yes? Like if someone I messages think... you, like what if I were to message you? Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, yeah, we just block you. Yeah, no, just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I knew like you, well, know. you message me. You don't message me. It's like you kind of speak. You kind of are like a couple in that sense. Yeah. I'm like, hey, are you guys available this day? And you're like, yeah, we can make it. And I, was I like, wasn't involved. That's not my fault. <laughs> Wait, what? Well, it's because we- I, I, I uh, <laughs> asked you to like be on my channel. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah we have yeah, separate yeah. channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's why. I see. Yeah. But then I was scheduling this through you. I was like, can you guys? But I guess I should yeah. have been in a group chat. I don't think I have no, your number. I have your DM. Yeah, he actually talked to me about that the other day. He was a little butt hurt about it. Wait, what did you say? I looked at our DMs. I'm like, the last DM was February of 2020. So I was like, I guess we don't DM each other. Can you even group chat on Twitter? I don't even know if you can. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot of fans so. do it. Yeah. Wait, really? They put you in a little chat and be like, hey, guys. Yeah. 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 Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love it so much. You guys, wait, Does your thing say eight before we leave? Does it say eight? No, it says hate. Yeah. Uh, eight. <laughs> I know. When I, when I wear a ring, though, everyone says, oh, eight, like, you're serving. I love that. Yeah. Like eight. That's really, really yeah. cool. Well, I absolutely adore you guys so much. I Thank hope you. we can do another mukbang soon. I want to be in this group. Yeah. It's so much fun. And when I say that, we just do like fun videos together. I need to hang out with you guys. So, I don't want to be I'm that. So down. <laughs> that I'm so down. Let's go to parties. Tara, please come. Tara Yummy's here. And I know it's Tara, not Tara, because I see that. Yeah. So I was like, so Thanks. please come on. This was such a fun vibe. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys do a podcast because I think that's like be sick. the calling, the tour for the Ecstasy album, for everything. I yeah. can't wait for the music World video. Tour. Yes. I really think you guys Cruises, should do it. everything. At least at like Viper Room or something, you know, one night only. Just make it like super, crazy. you yeah, know, cool and old school. And you guys check out Jake and Johnny on their respective channels. They're on Twitch. They're on TikTok. And uh, Ecstasy coming out February 12th. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out. We'll see you Thank guys you. in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. Peace, y'all. <laughs>